What are we rolling for? Recap? Sorry, I was distracted yep. by my new good sound. 16. Right, I got a 12. Got a 2. In my favor. The 1 sprunk. This will be the best recap ever. Brains, 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 brains. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. I was in the basement. There were some guys who came in. I hate them. <laughs> you walk, you walked into the in. basement and some guys just followed you in for some reason? You there were some brains. more guys that came. I ate more brains. <laughs> At some point, Matt's character came down and checked on me, I think. Yeah. And then he told me, good job. Eat more brains. <laughs> brains, 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 brains. That's about as much as I remember my character doing last time. <laughs> you, that deserves inspiration. Good recap. <laughs> you did a lot. You did a lot last last. You last definitely session. did a lot. I mean, there was a lot of brains eating. Hey, look, we needed a lot of brains to be eaten. I don't remember all the negotiations that were happening upstairs or something. You were trying to get somebody to. Where did you guys found a crew, and then I, you were just feeding part of their crew to me? Yeah, we found a crew. Oh, we we found Sir Richard. Who was Richard. a noble man, and they had um, prop powered boats with them. So Richard is somehow... the one that sent us into that fucking portal. I didn't forget that. I think it's a different Sir Richard. Oh really? Well, this guy was from Strygar, the other side of the world. Oh. Yes. Strygard. I I thought it was the same. That's why I was acting so suspicious. My bad. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no. And then somehow um we convinced him that we could get to the turtle faster if we hooked up his boat to our boat. And then they agreed to it and did it. Right. And then we took off, realized it'd be um Oh, and then we ran into Whiplo. Yeah, Whiplo, the uh, sentient killer whale. Or sentient yeah. Whale. He gave us a whole lot of gold, two magical cannons, and eight uh, nuts and bolts to put them on. And a push. And a push? Didn't he push us? Oh, yeah. Right and he, th he threw us like four hours or something towards the uh, <laughs> the island. Like, yeah. we, we, we would have had enough time to get onto land. If Whiplo didn't throw us the other direction so far, I think that was because um, of Aaron for some reason. No, that was me. That was me. My bad. <laughs> How you gonna blame me? I asked. Aaron, for, I asked him for. I asked him for a push. Aaron got a natty one at some point. Some some bad one. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what that one was for though. Um. I well, I, I I have a feeling I know what it was for. <laughs> Oh, when it was you, the deception got... on the boat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were some very funny deception things. That was funny. Oh my god. Oh, I tried so hard. <laughs> yeah. And then Aaron just went up and uh, met with Jackson, our contact, who we were looking for. Mm -hmm. We uh, tried to convince them to join us to fight the Kraken. They said no. So we offered them a whole bunch of gold, and then they said yes. Yeah. And told us where the door to DeSantis was on the northern shore. Um, they told us about the Isle of the Dead Sages. DeSantis, but yes. The dense DeSantis. Very specific. Um, and that the door to DeSantis has six keys, four imprints, and one other element. And we have to do them all at the same time. And that's the way to the to the Underdark. This is correct. And then we add 16 hours till the Kraken. I think we're gonna keep heading are... towards the the Isle of the Dead Sages until the Kraken came. Yeah. Unless we got there before. Um you guys are 16 out like I think you're so you're 16, 16 hours from the Kraken from yeah you guys you guys have 16 hours left you are 24 hours from land 
and you're six hours away from um so if you were to travel straight 24 <coughs> hours you could essentially um i think we're 18 hours from the door to desantius yeah 16 hours from the kraken and 24 hours from land on the west coast yeah yep so you're 16 hours away from uh desantius and you're also six hours away you're 16 hours away from desantius you're 18 six from desantis 16 for the kraken i yeah, think you said yeah and you're six hours away oh yeah it's 16 hours away from the kraken that's right that's why i have 16 here circled and you're six hours away from the tomb <laughs> oh or six hours yeah. even with turtle speed even with yeah turtle speed is not very fast you have turtle so, speed, though. You could leave. You could leave the turtle. No, yeah, but we're not going to make it new, right? Yeah. I think our plan with the kraken revolves around the turtle. <laughs> okay. So I think we'd would would tell everyone the to start heading toward the Isle of Dead Sages. So you guys, at whatever met, speed we can. You met um, Jackson. Uh, you do have a uh, ship full of people um just so you know your crew um consists of you guys Tevrit, who is jake um right now i guess it uh because uh sprock is incapacitated though on two bad rolls he could be dead um you have strike the surgeon you have uh jackson and baxson from the the rhyme island you have mm -hmm. Thuz Duzos, the mind, the Alpha Mind Flayer. You have Harry, Alan, Peter, Tom, and Schmitty um, <laughs> from <laughs> from Rhode Island. From uh, no, no, those guys are from uh, Trigard. Um, oh, oh, with Sir Richard. Sir Richard, yeah, they're more hired help, so um, they're traveling mm -hmm. with you guys. And you guys picked up Chip and Blankskin. Blank Skull, uh, who is Blank Skull, <coughs> rather, who, who are the two orcs. You have U-Horn and Tail, ha Tail Hat, who are the centaurs. And you have Brinskin and Donar, who are the minotaurs that Jackson gave you. So that gives you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And who are the kids? The oh, originally uh, eleven to twelve year old kids. Oh, Dally, Danny, and Sally. In your quote, you did say eleven to twelve. Yeah, <laughs> they were that. In. <laughs> yep. All right, so we have a decent sized crew on our little boat. You have twenty two people, which means you get full um, full speed and full, full use everything. of everything. Yeah, full use. So that's good. That means that you can shoot more than. Uh, so we we need cannon. twenty to have full use. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Up to twenty. No, no, not up to twenty. But you have to have. Yeah, you have to have up to twenty passengers to get full use. Um, so you don't have any problems sailing. So you'll actually okay. sail a little bit faster, um, but not so much with the with the turtle. Yeah. Um, so it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I'd say we just start heading towards the Isle of the Dead Sages while doing our prep to uh, await the Kraken. All right, so that's six hours. Now, Jake, um, you are I'm, about to enter. Uh, I would check on Sprock and give him my inspiration can, for whatever can, he needs. Do you have access to um, Tevrit? Is that a sheet? <laughs> Yeah, it should be a sheet in um, the. I got two hand. Yeah, in the, in the campaign.
You see him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just gotta pull him up. I know he, and you remember he's got. Um, so you, you, he's got that sword um, that cur that curses him, which means you have to finish all your attacks, even if it means hitting a, a friend. Um, and you're inseparable from that sword uh, mm -hmm. unless the, until the curse um, breaks or you die. Pretty much what that I think that's how I read that. But yeah. Um, so six hours. So, uh, Jake, roll a death save, and then actually, why don't you roll your two your, to see how long this metamorphosis is going to take? Oh, come on, two. What is that? Uh, uh, the, oh, the, the the two d twenty. Two d twenty hours to to change. Come on, two ones. Uh, eight seventeen. What'd you oh. get? Seventeen. Did you change the turtle? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't get him to fit. That's so funny. He looks like a cool little sea turtle. He is, <laughs> but little do you know, he's carrying a whole city. Yeah, he's a boat. What happened? You just lost it? No, it just uh, it it's too difficult to. And we I can get it back, but for uh, little... this, this is like the Final Fantasy zoomed out version. Got and it. Then when you got zoom it. in, it's like the full city. Right. 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 Makes sense. All right, Jake, you're. Still, no, I don't understand why my shit is still fucking doing this black screen shit. Yeah, I get the same thing. What black screen? Like my just, um, my my like, game and tabletop is doing the black screen thing. Did you update? I did, but like it's under. It's only the water. It's like underneath it. Yeah. I can see the table. But like on top, I can see the boat and the turtle, but all of the I'm water sure. or whatever is black. I think it's just something with how the Mac client is rendering that layer for whatever reason. Well, or it's one of the settings of the graphical level that you're on, oh, disabling oh, yeah, that's, a certain that's feature I mean. of the water that's being used. Right. Like I, I feel like you might be able to shift there because I have everything disabled, oh. like basically maximizing performance. So you might be able to tweak tweak it a little bit. You know what? Maybe so basically, maybe. just if you have it on the lowest settings, I think it basically just leaves in movable objects only, essentially, right? And the table. Um, okay, so you have, metamorphosis is going to take a uh, complete uh 17 hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so why don't you roll me a death save for the first? Um, and Please take my inspiration. So Tebert is standing there as well as your other friends, um, and you pretty much collapse and start convulsing and you roll a death save. Which is like a, a D20, yeah. With your inspiration. Yes. I'm but holding your head in my hands. It's a 20. You rolled a 20? Yeah. <laughs> a natural 20? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Right there. The wild, the baby. You don't see that You're shit? It's right there in the sheet. I want to see this. Oh, okay. yep. Oh, uh, eat and just, it. Yep. Eat and he just did it, one dog. roll. He didn't even use need a second roll for that. All right. So you... I'm taking my inspiration back. <laughs> so you have uh, passed. You have... There's still um, another save, but there's... We don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, since you rolled a natural 20, your your character is going yes. to cut um, his metamorphosis time um, by, uh, what die should I use here? I'll do, a, I'll do an eight. I'll do two, two D, no, I'll do two sixes. So four and a three. So seven hours. So your total of 10 hours of metamorphosis for you. And Jake, because you got a D20, uh, natural 20, you're going to experience. Um, we'll get Sprock back before the Kraken. Good. Yeah, that's true. That's huge. The natural 20 was. Huge. Right. 
All right, uh, Jake. <laughs> you, already that dark, you already have dark vision. You already have telepathic speech. You have cerebral spinal addiction. <laughs> <laughs> um oh you're you're um the thing that you had that uh was a negative for you was the was your um you social nature which means that you will jump um with your misty step um in front of attacks if you are within five feet of an ally um but that's only if they have exhaustion. So if they are, um, yeah. If they have a higher intelligence modifier, I'll just send this to you. If they have a higher intelligence modifier <coughs> or they're exhausted, you will automatically jump five feet uh, to try to um, take the take the. Hit. So right. basically, we're just gonna. I'm gonna stand near Sprock yeah. when he's up. So he's you're right. Yep. Let's yep, but you don't have a higher intelligence. That's do I? Probably not. You probably do. I'm only plus one, so I don't know. Druids are wisdom. So maybe. So Jake, your face, um, uh, the fr your face explodes um, on at your chin area. And all these tentacles come out. Mm. Um, and with a natural 20, um, you may make unarmed an unarmed melee attack on a creature that's in five feet in front of you. Um, and the attack will deal its normal uh, unarmed damage. Uh, but if the character is incapacitated, you are going to get, gain the ability, and this is just something I am homebrewing right now. I don't know where it is, um, but you'll be able to essentially devour um, his brain. I don't know what exactly that thing is called, but um, they will have to do some sort of, um, they'll have to do a, a save of some kind, and then you pretty much get a very strong um, attack to try to devour the brain. Uh, but I'll also send that to you once you get up, I guess. Where the fuck is that? Damn. All right. Um, the extract brain? Yeah, extract brain. Um, but that's only if the, key, if the creature is... Uh, if one incapacitated humanoid grappled by the mind flare yeah on a hit plus seven to hit the target takes 55 or 10 d10 piercing damage <clears throat> if you oh. reduce them to zero hit points you kill it by extracting and devouring its brain yeah that's amazing how do i add these things to my character sheet yeah i'll send you i'll send you stuff you could throw it in your notes, Jake, in the notes you, section. Probably the easiest way is to make a custom feat and add the custom feat. Oh, word. Um, all right, so that's that. So you have you have uh, 10 hours. That was it. Um, you get a cool thing. And you do have tentacles on your face. I cannot wait to re to recreate a hero forge for Jake's uh, character. That's going to be fantastic. <laughs> All right, now you guys are, you guys are doing six hours of traveling. You have a full sh uh, full crew. You do not necessarily need to uh, pilot. Um, Lone Star is is trying to build his um, um, armor. Lone, you Lone guys, Star is on the turtle. Lone Star is on, on the turtle, working on the on his armor. Uh, Lone Star, does any of those things that I had listed out help you with your um, armor build? Oh, no, no. Okay. I mean, I, as far as I understand, I have enough of materials um, at their workshop to do what I need to do. All right, cool. Hey, Daddy. How are you? Give me one I'll second. just be checking back in telepathically with Aranus. Sounds All good. Right, Give me one second. I'll be right back. Um... 
and then checking in with Sprock. You okay there, buddy? Still hanging in there? I'm hanging in there. The, t- the telepathic thumbs up. <laughs> so I get to roll for weather conditions. Um, and I'll roll a... Um, what it's, I guess we'll say it is late summer, I guess. Or <coughs> let's say it's early, it's early fall. Let's say I'm going to roll one D100 on this computer. D roll one D100. <coughs> and it is uh, 73, which is high winds. In what direction? High winds. Um, so you guys are sailing against choppy water. Um, high winds. And so you guys are halfway through this. I'm going to roll for a random event, see if something happens. Does anyone want to do anything before I do that? Um, no. Uh, hold on one second. Um, no, 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 actually, no, I'm good. I'm ready. Right. So, um, okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, Jake, why don't you roll me one D8? Let's, you, let's let you do this. I don't think he's there right now. Oh, yeah, there he is. He said 1D8, right? Yeah. <coughs> Six. Six. Ooh. A huge storm approaches. If players don't find shelter, they will be blown off course and end up in a different part of the world. Okay, that's, that's shocking. Um, How many shelter in the turtle? Uh, that was the land behind a flipper. But how is, how, so who's on the boat? I think everyone except Lone Star. Okay. Um, so you guys have this huge high winds coming, the water is getting very choppy, the clouds are rolling in, the wave is starting to pick up, um, the turtle is just fine, but the uh, s- entire city on top of the turtle is shaking up and down, um, you hear Jackson yeah, yelling. I, sorry, I just want, I am on the turtle if that matters. Yeah, but so the uh, Jackson, you can hear Jackson um, yelling, um, hold on. Hold on, hold hold your course. Um, and why don't we roll for the turtle is going to be able to navigate through this, um, but the ship is not tied to the turtle, correct? I don't think tied, or but would we be able to use the turtle as some sort of guide to try and yeah. help us? Yeah. Um, we're, the, we're, you can put the ship in like the you know the wake, the not wake. the actual wake, but yeah, yeah, behind it. So crafting off it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So a huge heavy wind. I mean, you guys are not you're not going to experience. Um. You're not going to get lost at sea because you're on the turtle. Um. But we might get separated. There will be um, some thunder. Yeah, you might. There will be some thunderstorms. So don't give them ideas. If you are uh, partially obscured, are partially obscured if they are more than twenty feet from you. What do you think I do all week, Aaron? (laughs) We're just texting back and forth of me giving him ideas of things to do to you. And then he sends us PDFs like, "Oh, you guys are fucked." Exactly. Lightning. What to escape from the top? Lightning crashes. And everyone needs to roll me a 1d20 dex save. Oh, um, oh, oh. Or oh, oh, that's not good. Gets, uh, struck by lightning. 
Um, there's going to be a, a 3d12 damage if you 16. If you succeed, um, there will be it will be halved. Uh, that's am I, am I me or my Tevret? Your Tevret. Where? I got I a think twenty-two. Brock is safe inside. Yeah. Um, I got a ten. And Tevret rolled. Twenty-two. Uh, uh, a what? 22. All right. And then Matt, you're, you rolled, you're fine. Okay. So everyone succeeded. So you take half the damage. So 3D, 3D12. Is Tevrid supposed to be at full health? Yeah. Oh, I can't change his health. 21. Uh, you might have to give, you might have to give the character to Jake because we can't affect each other's uh, stats. Everyone. Uh, yeah, Everyone has 10 lightning damage. That was halved. Um, let me see. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Wait, 10 is half or half of 10? 10 is halved. 10 is halved. So the... Uh, and I'm going to say that everyone on your crew experiences... Um, they're going to have minus two on their... Um, next ability score checks because they're kind of shocked, literally shocked. All right, Jake, did you go into the thing and assign character, or is that for me to do? I guess Let's that's see. for you to do. Uh, yeah, that option doesn't exist. I can just look at the character sheet as the uh, let's see. All right, deactivated him. Uh, mm. I don't think you're supposed to deactivate the character. There's a different list of deactivated characters. You you might need to make a I think make I think, a copy of it. Uh, Jake, the, can you see uh, down down at the bottom? You see Tevrit, and you click on activate. No, I can only view profile or view user profile. You know, Spencer, he's pro we're pro we probably can't affect other characters in the campaign that aren't ours specifically. You have to assign the character to well, no. the Also, that character is Mike's for on his account. So uh, we'd have to make a copy of that character, which you can do. Just make it. I forgot how to do it. Um, all right. Well, just make a copy then, of it, and then you so can do six, it. Six hours goes by. Um, now you have four hours until the metamorphosis stops. So this is not going to be a big issue until uh, for another four hours. Um, so the, the water seems to calm down. You guys take some lightning damage. It's a big storm. You, got, you guys would have been hilariously thrown into the middle of, I have no idea. It would have been uh, absolute mayhem if you didn't decide to swim with um, the turtle. This is Crosby. Crosby failed a deck save causing him to get smashed by a giant alchemist in the Shadow High Realm. Don't be a Crosby. Roll high and subscribe. And I believe Nargoda is the name of the uh, town on the turtle. Narita. Narita. Okay. And so you sort of, uh, yeah, Nar Narita Port, that's right. Um, and you see coming in front of you uh, some, an island, an island of sorts. And Jackson says to you, hey, you, you guys, um, we're going to hold off. We're going to stay here. Uh, he's about... I don't know, quarter of a mile away from the uh, from the island, and he's going to say, uh, "This is a, a a magical place," and my turtle gets spooked around these sorts of happenings at this island. Um, that is the island of dead sages. This is the place that you. Ask me about the whereabouts of it. 
uh, and when you look, give me a perception check, uh, whoever. I guess he would be talking to whoever's in here. Uh, 18. Um, 18. You look out over the water and you see uh, a, a large rocks circling a larger rock with palm trees on it. Uh, and there seems to be a fire in the middle of it. You look out, you see some, um, you see some dead, uh, you see some, some uh, broken wrecked ships. Um, and that's all you see at, at the very moment. Uh, your ship is uh, going up and down. Um, the water seems to be eerily calm. Uh, and there is a gentle mist in the air. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll find a stopping point in the uh, the construction process and head on over to the uh, the other boat and join them over at the uh, the island. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys are still you guys are still a quarter mile off um, away from the island. There are. Um, you can see smoke billowing from the middle of the middle island. Uh, there are four hours uh, until Sprock, and there's 10 hours until the Dragon. Um, Let's take the boat closer. Yeah. We'll go slow and keep an eye out for rocks and Trying to find a the smooth, steady way in. Okay. Um, Maybe even just do oars instead of the uh, the wind when we get close. All right. So you guys are going to try to gently go up to a. Uh, you, uh, who's the qu quartermaster? I guess uh, Lone Star. Give me a, a uh, intelligence check. Okay. That's that's a thirteen. Um, you see water crashing against the rocks. You see uh, out in front of you um, some ships that are that are uh, destroyed, but you can't quite put together just exactly how um, or whether or not you're safe. How deep does the water look? right here um it's very very muggy very uh not you can't really see through it sort of like the east it, ocean you, you can't see down yeah okay okay does it look like any uh or which way does the current look like it's moving um the water the water is eerily calm so it's not eerily calm okay. yeah is there any breeze in what direction? It's coming straight at the ship, um, blowing okay. a, blowing the smoke and the uh, fog towards the ship. Are there any? So you said there's like rocks and other stuff coming out of the water. Yeah. Does there look like anything that I could tie a rope onto? You cannot see uh, in that detail from where you are. Okay. <clears throat> I'll, uh, since I'm already soaking wet as a bird as it is, I'll tell Aranis I'm going to go uh, scout real quick. Just check check on a, a good spot to tie up, tie up to. I don't think it's that safe to get too close. Yeah. I'll keep it steady here and I'll, I'll yell back <laughs> in your head when I'm ready. Um, so, we'll be ready. The crew, the crew I members. Know, I just let everybody know um, what the plan is. The crew members are going to say, "Where, where are you guys going?" Uh, this is going to be Chip, the orc. Hey, 
Where are you guys going? I'm going to scout just so you guys can make sure, or so we can make sure that you guys are safe. Believe this? Okay. Hey, everyone else is going to be here. You're in you're good hands with my number two. Who's um, staying on the, who's your number, who's the number two, he said? Aaron S. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're going to get in the, who, who's going in the canoe? No, I'm going to swan dive in and swim. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, you if you're finish if building your wings? If, if there's a, aren't there's a wings canoe, ready? Why don't you fly? They're not ready yet. Oh, I don't okay. think, are they, are they ready yet? In six hours? I didn't think so. No, no. No. Six hours. So, no. Yeah. If we're taking a canoe, I'll take a canoe over. Okay. Okay. Um, who's going to be your, so you're a quarter mile, you guys are a quarter mile, so you guys get closer. Um, you already said you got closer. You're in a canoe um, and you're sort of pushing on over. Who's, are you just taking the canoe by yourself? Um, I'd take Tepper with go me. We could go sneaky if you want. I don't think we need to go sneaky. I think we just need to go safe. Right. Do it. All right, I'm take taking Teverett, the big beefy man, to to row the canoe for me. Okay, because I'm very weak. Teverett happens to be very strong. Um, mm -hmm. that's that's your boy, and, and he's gonna row your ass over to. Uh, I'd the, say the closest rock that we yeah, can find. The, the very closest. Or, or protrusion from the water. Very closest rock. Um, and he's rolling and rolling and rolling. Uh, I'm going to do... Uh, his back is towards the... He would have been going like... Yeah. His back... No, I, I, I would have been on the bow of the boat. Uh, I'm back. Hey, Teverett. A little to the left. A little to the right. All right. Um, he is, so you get to this rock. Um, and what are you going to do? You're going to try to climb it? Um, it just looks like a, what, is yeah. it, what kind of rock? rock it look? Uh, it's like a rock in the middle of the ocean. Um, you can't see how, how far down it goes. There is a, give me a perception chart. A seven. Um, there's a rock. Surrounded okay. by other rocks, um, you do see a broken, uh, destroyed, sh crashed oh. ship. Kind of um, feels like it's being held sturdy, maybe perhaps to the other rock that it crashed into. Okay, how about how far are we from the other, from the ship? Um, I would say you're like a hundred meters from the ship. It's like three hundred feet. Okay. 350 or 320, whatever it is. Um, how tall does the rock look? Uh, about 20 feet. All right. I'll uh, tell Tevert, keep the boat here. Actually, you're big and strong. I'll, I'll keep the boat here. You uh, climb up there and throw my rope down. That makes sense. Jake. Yeah. Um, roll me a strength check to climb the slippery rocks with Teverit, which is a plus five. I'll pull the canoe a little bit away in case he falls. He doesn't hit the canoe. 19. Uh, you, you very easily climb up. Yeah, I do. Uh, pull it back over. Just as you, Jake, get to the top of this rock, um, you stand up and you look at uh, around you. Give me a perception check. Uh, it's a seven plus Tebrit's perception. Uh, Tebrit's perception one. is yeah, one. Minus one, so it's six. You see a tombstone and a uh, open 
Uh, actually, no, you just see a tombstone and a closed uh, casket. This, uh, is, this is the island, not the one with the fires. No, this is one of the ones that's surrounding that one. Right. Uh, um, on on the on the tombstone is language that you can't make out. I'll uh, you'll hear in your head. Does it look like anywhere we can uh, tie off a a big boat to? Uh, maybe the whole rock. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Uh, does there? Look like it, there's how heavy does this uh I guess it, what'd you say it is? Uh it's not a casket, it's a the tomb. Tomb? How heavy oh. is it? It's a uh, a big can I move it if I push on it? Uh no, definitely not. It's like one of those um it's like one of those uh mausoleums. Yeah, yeah. Like a mummy's uh yeah, you're... Oh, we could probably we could probably tie around this thing. Well, let's just do it on the whole rock. Yeah. I like that idea. I'll look at this other uh, destroyed boat. Does there look like there's any ropes on that one? Just hanging um, around? Nothing. It's you look. Give me a perception check. Let's go. Okay. That's a nineteen. Um, the ship looks like it's really, really old. Everything on that ship, from where you can, where you're standing seems to be uh, weathered. Uh, the, the rope looks like it's not going to be in good use. Okay. Um, Lord knows how long <laughs> that boat has been there. Well, I'll reach in my, uh, my bag I'm holding just to see if I get some rope. An 18, oh, is that rope? No, I'll, I'll pull out a large jade stone. I'll throw it back in the bag. Um, Shit. Well, do the waters look calm enough to, yeah. uh, for the boat to come in? You're really calm. All right. Well, Tavra, let's uh, head back and tell them to bring the boat all the way in. Maybe we don't even have to tie up. We can just dock up against, tie, maybe tie up to the mausoleum loosely. Um. I will allow you to get back to the boat. Just do a cannonball into the water. That's what you're going to do? Are you going to do that? Are you jumping into the water to get Who, back? To the boat? <laughs> He's trying He's to rock. do that. Who's doing that? Kidding. Um, did you guys, so you guys are going to get back on the, on the canoe. Tevert, you got to give me a uh, strength check. To climb down. Slippery slope. What'd you say his strength was? Plus five. Uh, yeah. Like a nine. Um, okay, you slip a little bit and you fall back um, and you fall into the water. Give me a perception check. Five. Um, Lots of safe photo bucket. You see that there is nothing supporting the rock. You see underneath the rock, there's nothing supporting the rock. The rock seems to be this solid mass. When you're standing on it, it felt like it was secured down to the ocean floor, but uh, there's nothing underneath it. Okay. Like it's floating. Mm -hmm. You got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Okay. Well, let's go back and get the uh, the whole boat. <clears throat> we'll figure out what's going on here.
I'll start heading out and trying to navigate and find the boat. All right. Well, I got back in the little boat, right? Yeah, I would have helped you climb in. Yeah. Okay. Um, the orcs is going to say to you, what'd you find over there? This is uh, Chip. Chip is going to say, Blankskin has been telling me you guys are going over there looking for treasure. Did you find anything? We should split that with the, with the group. We, uh, we found some calm water. So that's where we're going to go. And don't you worry about any loot. You're taken care of. You will be taken care of. He believes you. <laughs> and he says, come on, Blankskin. Let's go find out what this cook has for us. Where's the cook? Um, and who brings it over? Who brings the uh, ship over? You guys um, are captain. Would, would captain that over. Roll me. Um, let's see if the ship takes any damage on the way in. Um, roll me the intelligence. Uh, I check. would have been taking note of the the path in and out as we're going. I'll give you advantage. Thank you, because that was a natural one. Oof. And uh, what am I rolling? Um, Intelligence? Yeah. Uh, that is a 12. Terrible rolls. But you are going to... Multiply that by the. No, that's fine. Um, how, what was it? A twelve. Yeah. Um, yeah. You sort of over overshoot it. Um, it hits the rock. The rock does not move at all. Um, Tevrit, you're sort of amazed because you don't understand how this floating thing is uh, one on top of the water, but also uh, break hurting the ship. The ship is. I'll yell, I'll, I'll yell to everyone. Tie it up real quick. Um, the ship is going to take uh, 11 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And the ship right now has... My note. Aaron, did you fix the ship at all? Since we've been on it? No, right? No. Oh. Well, it takes 11 damage. I'll find that in a second. Um, ship itself takes 11? Yeah. Just yeah. One. The ship's got a lot of damage, though. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it, the crew, um, the crew is going to 66, so 77. 77, what total damage on the ship? Oh, you, you're keeping track of it, yeah, man. So 77 damage. Um, you, and uh, the crew, I'll fix it when it's necessary. It's not like the fact that uh, you hear a bunch of murmuring. Ah! Oh, geez. Um, you horn is going to say, gee, my legs. I'm a centaur on a boat. Um, is there wait, any what, loose objects? We crash the boat? Donar is, there... is going to fall over and his horn is going to get hit into a piece of wood on, on the deck and he's going to have to pull it out. Oh, my neck. Um, are, there, are there any like loose stones or anything around where I'm standing right now? Uh, hold on, I'm not done. Um, the rhyme guys, Braxton is going to say, yo, uh, Jackson, I got hit in the head. Thank God I'm not dead. And then uh, uh, Duzos is going to yell in his mind to everyone, Mikey. Um, and the whole morale of the uh, ship is going to go down by seven. Um, the crew. You're still high morale, but um, the crew oh. can experience that. Okay, so you guys now crash the ship, uh, bump the ship, not crash the ship, into the first rock. You guys are stationed there now. Um, I'll pick up some loose debris and just throw it at everyone and say, yeah, shut your mouths and get back to work. Um, that's not your, your crew. So you're confusing the crew. Um, are you trying to intimidate them into going back to work? No, no. Okay. Uh, so just, they're going to take, take one, uh, one more, one more uh, negative morale. 
um, <laughs> because they're confused why the captain is giving the orders of the first mate. So there's that weakening the weakening the captain's uh, viewpoint. All right, um, you're on. You guys go on, Captain. Hey. Hey. They're 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 food. <laughs> they're they're cattle waiting to be called. Um, it should it should be calming to know that Danny and Sally are completely fine downstairs hanging out with dead, mute, not moving Sprock. Cool. Uh, okay. So the ship's total was 300 hit points. It's now down to, um, what, 224? 224. 220, so, uh, 224, yeah. That's fine. You guys are fine. Okay. So what do you guys would, would like to do? Um... Well, let's go head over to that central island. See what's up. Yeah, the fire. Okay. Um, everyone's gonna go. Let me grab everyone's. Uh, we'll leave. Um, you know the people on the ship, and just yeah. be like, hey, you know, keep this steady. Don't let it drift into any well, rocks. Uh, keep it tied up to this rock. Yeah, don't let it drift into the rock. Jesus Christ. Oh man, I forgot to upload your character. I'm gonna make you Gabriella. That's all right. Um, Sprock, I sent it to you though, right? I thought I yeah, did. yeah, I got it. I just oh, okay. I just remember next time that you did it. Yeah, all good. Right. Um, you're on the boat. You guys are on the boat. You guys can. Uh, I guess you're you're tethered. Who's gonna jump down and tether this tie this rope? I'll do it. Paul. Oh. All right, I'll I'll help Aranus. I'll watch. <laughs> I don't want to take part in that that not tying role. Yeah, I'll also just step. watch. Yeah, I'm not going to let anyone else tie any knots. I will <laughs> I will tie the knot. Um, yeah, so I'll hop down, and um, I'll try to secure uh, the rope on the on the around the rock okay um give me a rope tying uh intelligence uh check that's not that's too specific what, what am i rolling <laughs> is it like a save intelligence save is it like uh you're you are tying a rope to make sure that the ship doesn't drift away while the other people are doing nothing as you said that you, they should be doing um and minding their own business although Thesduzos is will be able to he'll tell you i will watch over these people and lick his lips um dope um so but what is but what specifically am i rolling is what i'm asking you you are rolling to see if you know how to tie a uh an intelligence a check yeah baby but as, i'm just asking specifically what am i rolling is it just an intelligence check yeah. Okay. Because you're that, saying, that 20, 28, baby. This uh <laughs> this rope is tied so well. Oh that a hook knot that the spirits on the island uh awakens and starts to shake. Oh son of a bitch. Um and you hear this, oh what a rope. You did too good. <laughs> what a rope! And this skull. Um, what color is the skull? Color of the skull is a normal looking skull. Um, no it's one, white. It's a white skull. It looks white. It's just a normal looking skull. Um, <laughs> this is, and the skull speaks. Whoa! What a rope! How'd you dock here so easily? Welcome well, to the welcome to the island of dead sages, my friends. Oh, um, uh, I'm gonna. Do clever navigating, and then I'm gonna telepath. I'm gonna tap my forehead um, to Lone Star. 
And I'm going to, one, once he establishes the connection, I'm going to ask him if we should ask the skull if it knows Lux, Luxodon. Well, let's start, uh, start small before we go right there to find out what this place is. Okay. Uh, Aaron, you get a coolness point. You get one. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take it. I don't know what I can use it for, but I'll use it. <laughs> Turn them in, in, we, we got a cracking coming up. Use yeah, it for anything. Sure. I'm going to have to do something with style. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you to keep talking. You have a, a fondness with it from your knot. Nice. Um, I'm mean, like, um, can you tell us what exactly this place is? This place is the Island of Dead Sages. We were sent on a quest to find the sages. Well, there are two here. Can you tell us which? I think you know which. If you are who you are, you'll know what you're looking for. Can you tell us the location of the, can you tell us how to get to them? He looks at you and he says, well, each each hero has its own casket, and each tomb has its own weapon. Hmm. Okay. And Lone Star will pull out a green skull from his bag of holding. Look down to Aranus, like. We 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 need a talk. And I don't know what this is. Into, I'm gonna reach into my pocket and pull out the red skull. And I'm gonna say, you're right. And I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna gesture to Lone Star to follow my lead to hold up the skull towards the floating skull. And I'm going to say, um uh we've uh we have found we found two and we need the other three. Right, it is three. Right, it was black, white, green. No, blue. Yes, so three. six. Oh, six. Oh, so we're missing. Four. I'm gonna oh, pretend five. like I have one. And reach don't pretend. Pocket. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. I'm gonna look for, like don't don't <laughs> pretend. Okay, no, listen, listen. I'll, I'll, I'll hold mine up. <laughs> so looking um, confused as all hell. That's a wet bird. Give me a first. Perception check, Aaron. Since you're the closest one, you're on. You're on the uh, on the close to him. Twelve. Um, the skull uh, fades away, and you see a. Uh, you look around and you see that each of these. So these stones seem to have similar items on them. Um, you're not, not able to see just exactly uh, how how detailed because you uh, got such a low one. But right across from you, you see that there is a just a flash of red. I don't know if you can. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, in which direction was it? Over one of the rocks? It was over that rock that you're on right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. So because I'm holding the red skull, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna go. I think that rock is calling me, and I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna ask. Oh, I'm gonna tell Lone Star. Um. There was a there was a time in this journey before you came aboard before you came, when. We had um, specific colors reach out to us. 
and we had to we had different puzzles that we had different um yeah, puzzles sure we had we had different things that we had to solve based on the colors that reached out to us um i believe red is mine still so i'll go i'll go there and then okay. I'll look i'll be like just make sure to choose right because this shit can be trouble i'm gonna put my rock i'm gonna put my skull back in my pocket um back into my sack um and then um huh how what is the oh i guess what is the distance between these uh um i'd say half half a block whatever that is not very far it's like across the street oh okay okay so probably less than 30 feet <laughs> It's such a New York way of giving distance. <laughs> right. I, I'm like, that, that's probably about 30 feet. Um, I think it's a little bit more than 30 feet. It's probably more like 50 feet. Okay. So um, so from, and you, you, can see my, you can see my blue hand on here, right? Yeah. You see how it's hovering over my character? Yeah. Is this rock what's about 50 feet away? That'll be, that'll be, uh, so you yeah that's a, that that'll be 40 feet each one of them i guess is going to be more like everything's 40 feet away from each other got it in the circle yeah got it okay um so this uh ship this beaten up ship over here how far is that uh that's right in the middle you can you can reach that almost you have you'd have to move about 5 feet to get onto the ship okay so i'm going to um I'm gonna be real cool about it. I'm gonna run and jump onto this. I'm gonna look look at Lone Star and be like, be careful, tuck this thing into my pocket, and then I'm gonna be real cool and just run and jump onto the ship. Um, um okay. Yeah, just whoosh onto there. All right, give me a disadvantaged uh dex save because you're jumping onto I don't know uh, how, old boat. how old this is. You don't know how slippery it is. It seems slimy. Um, 19 and 21. Okay. Um, you jump on. You feel your feet slip and slide. Um, and you slide almost in a, uh, across the ship uh, very easily in a very cool fashion. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take a second and look around to see if there's anything on the ship that um, is useful. Give me a perception check. Fourteen. Uh, you look around and you see uh, you see some notes on the on the ground what's your background again you're a elf um elf and um what's like uh i'm a mage know? hand so like uh i'm uh what's it called um not mage hand i'm sorry arcane um arcane trickster yeah so you you'll you'll be able to understand you you look down you see scribble scrabble that kind of looks like um bizarre uh notes uh pirate notes sort of like bounties um i'm gonna use my mage hand to to grab the to scoop the notes up um, to collect the papers and bring them back to me yeah you and when you because you rolled a 14 you, when you look around you do notice that no one saw how cool the slide was that you, <laughs> you no, one, no one saw it. you just you know no, i know it no was for me saw. it yeah. was for me Did, did we sense it though? Like, was there like a thing where we all get like like a shiver? Yeah. Like, you you know. hear a voice in your head, and um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Thus Zuzo says, "Good job, my friend." He like whispers in my mind, like that yeah. was dope. that was dope. You see, uh, you look down. Don't slide. This piece of paper. I'll just let the fourteen keep going. You look down at this piece of paper, and you see some notes saying "Skull Force." Um, something about co coins. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Skull, skull force. Yeah. Coins. Sorry, um, go ahead. And something about something about coins. 
and you see an image of some weapons. Um, those weapons. weapons, they're just hand drawn, scribble, scrabble. Um, you see a dagger and you see a bow um, on some of the drawings. The two, the, the, I guess the, the other, the other ones are worn out from the weather and water. Got you. I'm just gonna. While he is doing his slide, I'm gonna look around to any of the stones, see if any call to me. Um, give me a perception check. That's a seven. Um, you see in you see into the fire, uh, and just out of the fire, you see what looks like a little bit of light coming from the furthest stone. I'll uh. See Aranus run, jump, tuck the little green stone back in my bag of holding, and uh, turn to the crew and say, See in a bit, and run, jump off, and dive into the water, start swimming uh, to the far Matt, side. Matt, give me a perception check. Uh, I think it's 15. Hold on. Sorry, no, 20. Uh, you hear oh, no disadvantage on perspective. Good. Okay, still twenty. You hear uh, a little. You feel like you, you feel your you feel goosebumps all over your bodies um, as you're staring but from the slide. I know. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you you see. Um, you see a you got a 20 on that 20 yeah not natural you see a faint image of a character or two maybe three you're not sure just shadowies shadow characters sort of glowing a little bit in the in the rock over here where my guy is right here um and Wait, which one? Sorry, I didn't see that. One next to the other broken ship. Um, okay. You see a couple figures, maybe, but maybe not. Um, and that's all you see there. I guess I should head there. That to investigate. And Jake, give me a perception check. So it's Tevin, right? Yeah. Uh, seven. Uh, you see that the um, stone uh, that you crashed into uh, has sort of uh, the tombstone looks a little different than uh, when you were first on there. Uh, perhaps the boat knocked something loose the uh, tombstone lid, no, no, sorry, the tomb lid seems to be a little bit more detailed. Uh, maybe the dust has fallen, and the dirt on it kind of washed away when you hit hit it with that rock or with the boat. Okay. Uh, um, Aaron, where, where are you at? Um, so now I'm going to uh, carefully traverse up this up past and up the side of this boat onto this rock over here. Oops. Okay. Um, give me a uh, strength to do all that. Fifteen. You. 
slip and slide, you make it. It's not as cool as your as your as your <laughs> previous. Hey, uh, look, look, hey, look. Yeah. How could it be though? And we're all watching this time. <laughs> <laughs> you watch me scrabble up this thing. It's like boards are breaking. I'm fucking like sweating. <laughs> as soon as you step on this uh, rock, um, the rock begins to uh, vibrate. Just, just very, very subtle. I immediately run towards the rock that was red and jump. And then once I'm about, I'm going to run and jump. And then I'm going to attempt to misty step the rest of the distance from, from the, the, the max length of my jump. That's some video game shit. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go whoop and then misty step. Big dishonor. <laughs> um so you're you're gonna jump in the air and you're gonna do a misty step and try to land yeah onto onto the rock that was red because this is the one that was red is, right yeah how far is misty step uh misty step is 30 feet okay uh and they're 40 feet away from each other yeah so i'm i was hoping that if i jump right i'd get at least 10 feet and then what's your, what's your strength score uh the one i just rolled no, once you just strength score the, uh, 11. the number. 11. That's what I got. Yeah. I think you're going to have to give me the a strength um, athletics check. 11. Athletics? Yeah. Not at club. Okay, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. long jump with a running start is 11 feet horizontally. Oh. So you'd be able to get 11 feet and then do it. And then miss the step and be just like right on the very edge. And I rolled a 14 so on like the a... athletics. Can I also roll an acrobatics to see how I land on my toes? Um, You got to roll the 14. If you land in difficult terrain, you might need to make a dexterity check to, to check or land prone. It's not difficult. You, you, I'll let you stick that landing. That's pretty good. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so we didn't see I, that one. I now. run, I jump, and then right when I feel myself start to lose forward momentum, misty step, and I land, I slide again, just on the edge, and I look around and I look back at the boat and I see no one's looking. I'm just like, what the fuck? Lone starts clapping. Right as he water. jumps, I I am yelling, "Look at this cool fish!" And everyone turns and looks at the fish. <laughs> right, 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 um okay so this um give me a perception check now okay yeah i'm gonna like take in my surroundings yeah 13 you get to this uh as you as you climb back up you see that the red um the red that you were seeing and the uh, glimmering in in the sky through the fog was this uh, glowing red tombstone. Um, and on that tombstone is written in a language um, that you don't understand why you know, but you can read it. Okay. And it says, here lies Pargu. <gasps> I take Pargu's head out of my backpack <laughs> and I place it in front of the tombstone. Um, no, uh, roll me. <laughs> you forgot I had that, didn't you? Roll me. I'm going to hold on to that shit forever. <laughs> roll me a, we'll get, we'll get to that. Roll me a, uh, I guess roll me a. You've been you've what had you this to, dead you, head you in your bag do? for what so long. What are you trying long? to do? Just to see if there's any magic that comes with that. I'm sorry. Say so what? I, you're what trying to. Are you trying to like force? So I be, yeah, I basically like. I want to see if like if this will make whatever this is react. It does not. 
oh, okay. So I look at the head, I'm like, well, what the fuck? And then I'm just going to leave it. Um, what? I'm going to say, rest with the rest of your body, friend. And I'm going to pat it on the head. <laughs> and then I'm going to look around. Um, all right. We're going to cut over to uh, Chris. Where are you at? You're in the water. You jump in. I'm, I'm swimming past the island. I Right as I got past the island, I saw Aranus you jumped in the hop water. out of his misty step and scramble, and I clapped. Nice. One higher, you would have been in trouble jumping in the water like that. Okay. <laughs> um, where are you going? You're swimming over? Yeah, I'm swimming over. All right. You get to the rock. Um, and I'm going to try and climb up it. Okay. Uh, no. Um, uh, athletics. That's a seven. You fall back. You climb up halfway. You fall back into the water. Make a splash. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. This is Rena. Rena rolled low during death saves and didn't get healed by his group. Don't be a Rena. Roll high and subscribe. Uh, Matt, where are you at? I'm on the boat. Um, what are you doing? I guess I got to make my way to my shadow guys, but I don't want to jump in the water. Um, and I don't know how else to get there. Give me. A, I don't have uh, cool skills. <laughs> don't have cool enough skills. There is a boat. Uh, your boat has a width of, of probably um, 20 feet. Yeah. You are 40 feet away from the other rock there. And mm -hmm. uh, that's your, that's all the information I can give you. Take the canoe. Yeah, where's the canoe? Do you have a canoe tied to your boat? Oh, yeah. I'm taking, I'm going to take the canoe. Okay. Um, all right. So I thought we lost that for some reason. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just watched me go run off and do my own thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just like, why are people jumping if there's canoes? But okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm already soaking wet. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Who uh, stuff? Stuff like. All right. You're going to get in the canoe and head over. Jake, uh, you, what are you doing? Um, I'm not sorry. I got distracted by my brother dropping off the boat. I can't wait for Jake to just kill Teverett. Uh, <laughs> we're on this little one on off the, with the red. What, which one am I on? You're. Am I still on the boat? Where am I? We're on the boat still, yeah. But you saw this one looks different. Yeah, so I'll I'll go on to that rock. It vibrated in your general direction. Yeah. Um, give me a perception check now. This fucking stupid minus one. Eight. Uh, you see this, uh, tombstone, um, seems to be, uh, have a symbol on it of a, uh, coin. There's a coin on it. And there's also an uh elephant tusk that you can make out uh the the mummy uh i guess it's a casket well i don't know what else to call it i guess it's a tomb the tomb lid seems to have been uh knocked uh with the hit from the boat um you can see where the lid is I can see where the lid is, but it's not on the rock. Yeah, it's on top. There's these aren't open tombs. These the uh, there, there are lids to them. Yeah, yep. but you said the lid knocked off, right? Uh, yeah. See, it seems to have moved just slightly. Just a little. So I'm gonna push the lid more. Give me a strength. Um. You got to score well with that. I think your guy is 
You also have, yeah. What is his strength? Oh, you could rage and get yeah, advantage on a strength check. <laughs> you could also rage if you wanted, yeah. I'll just uh, roll roll at once. It's probably all you'll do. It's uh, fifteen plus five twenty. Um, you lift this lid. Uh, how would you like to describe you ripping it off? Oh no, I just want to push it off the top of the thing. All right, the lid pushes off um, with a lot of force. It falls. It feels heavy. Um, very, very heavy. And you look um, as you as it as it uh, falls on the ground, you hear this sound um, and it says uh, this this voice almost. And it sounds well, you're Tevert, so you don't really know who's saying it, but it says uh, it's it says morphin time. <laughs> In a language that you that you know as you are a um, dragon uh, born. Oh, you can also breathe fire, by the way. Uh, Aaron, yes, you're, you're up. Um, so with Arguing's head, <laughs> you having... can also breathe fire. Aaron, you're up. <laughs> Great <laughs> yes. segue. Um, uh, so since Arguing's head didn't do anything, um, I'm gonna check the sarcophagus. Uh, your your tomb is. Uh, your lid is also. Your lid is still is still on, um, so you're sorry if that was confusing. The okay. lid; these all have lids. Okay, um, so then I'm gonna try to open it. Um, well, first, before hold on, hold on. Before I try to open it, I would like to inspect the sort of kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the the head. There is no sort of, what, what do you mean? The tomb. The tomb. The tomb has a a, 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 a lid on. I know. Yeah, I he's gonna to, check it for traps. Yeah. Well, oh, before... uh, all right. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Give me a uh, investigation. Okay. Twenty three. There is nothing on this that that would lead you to believe that this would be trapped. Okay. So I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna slide the lid over. Uh, give me a strength. Nine. Um, it does not move. Now give me a perception. Eighteen. You see um, on as you're struggling, um, you look over at the tombstone. And you see a image of um, a dagger. Hmm. And there's a circle um, that that dagger is sort of embedded on. And on the language there, it says, uh, Uh, it says skull force on the tombstone. This, so there's a slit for a dagger, and it's there's, a, there's a, a there's a symbol there's a symbol of a dagger with a uh, inside of a circle, and on it, and right above it, it has the language skull force on it, um, and then it says uh, Pargu's name and uh, whatever date it is. I guess it's. Uh, get back to you on that one oh uh, i guess the first thing i'm gonna do is take out this the red skull and see if the this the like circumference of the circle matches the circumference of the skull it does so i'm gonna tap it to the circle um nothing happens well, what the fuck 
Uh, and then I'm going to pull out a dagger and with the skull, like, <laughs> put them on like, like this, like, <laughs> <laughs> try to recreate what the image is that I'm looking at between with the skull and the dagger. That's fantastic. Give me, um, give me a charisma. Give me some charisma. Okay. You know? I just like how you're trying to like woo this. Yeah. Stuff. Give me a persuasion. Give me a persuasion. 14. 14. Yeah. Not going to cut it. Got to get it. Uh, yeah, it's a stone. All right. Uh, Chris, where are you at? Uh, I'm trying to climb up the, uh, the slick. That's an eight. Um, you climb up, you get up. I scramble slowly. Scramble, yeah. Your fingers are hurting. Your morale is, if you had a morale uh, score. I'm, I'm lucky people on the boat can't see me from this far away. Yeah, shame. Uh, Fez Duzos, you hear him in, his, in your mind. He says, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the top. Um, give me a percentage check. I gotta use my good dice. No, nope, that's not, not my good dice. That's a nine. Um, you look down at on your rock, you see that the tombstone is green, glowing. You see that mm -hmm. there are two tombs. One tomb has um, a glowing green, uh, is glowing green. Another tomb is not glowing green. Um, on the tombstone, there is a image of a um, an axe. Thanks. Similarly, uh, inside of a uh, circle. Um, and it says on the bottom of it, it says um, tomb, uh, Gabri here lies Gabriella's, uh, Gabriella, the green sage. And, and it says that for the first one? For the first one, yeah. Yeah, and then the second one is glowing green. Yeah, and it has something on it. Um, give me an investigation check. Gladly. Oh, that's a um, that's gonna be good. Um, this investigation was fucking funny. Uh, that's a twenty-four. Um, you see, uh, it's very, same same handwriting. It says. Here lies Rena. Ooh. I'll look over at Aranus and I'll walk over to that green coffin and I'll put my hand on it, see if anything happens. Uh, it's warm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. I'll take out that green skull. Say, I think this was yours and I'll place it on top of the top of the tomb are you also trying to persuade magic to happen are you trying to or are you no just... i'm just i'm just trying to to Have bring something back to its home um, something that seems to be calling itself the there is no reaction between the uh, hmm. the glowing um tomb and the skull there's nothing else written on it or symbols um yeah there is uh there's a uh skull force um written on uh the tombstone and on gabriella's yeah, yeah and both of your tombs uh have uh cast have caps. Yeah, they're just they have their tops on. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, seeing air, uh, everyone else knock theirs off. I'll uh, say no disrespect, and I'll pop my armor back on and try and punch one of the the lids off. Okay. I'll go for the glowing one. Okay. Roll me a strength. Strength? Mm -hmm. Oh. 
thank the Jesus because that's a nine, 19 minus one is an 18. <laughs> um, your, your lid pops off. A familiar friend um, joins the group. Um, and Reno? <laughs> uh, which one did you knock off? The, the glowing green one. Uh, oh, I got to have a drink of that. <laughs> uh, the skull um, that was talking to you starts talking to you again, but this time it's going green. And it says, um, oh, uh, looks like another hero has come. Hopefully uh, you don't join them uh, the same way the previous heroes have. Uh, who are you exactly? Ah, before you respond, uh, he says, it doesn't matter. Let me tell you what I need to tell you. I've been here for a long time, have had no one to talk to. You, it seems, are the chosen uh, protector of the sage. Um, he says, uh, here, and uh, the tomb, the tombstone, and the green tomb shining thing uh, disappear into a puff of green smoke. Um, and he says, take this emblem um, and join the clan. You may need this where you're headed to. And then it disappears again. I'll take that emblem. Um, it is uh, Matt's turn. All right, I assume I'm over at the where I saw those shadows. Yeah, you're you make make it over there. Excellent. Okay. Um, I check out my tombs. Everyone else got to. I'm looking over. I'm like, it looks like everyone knows these dead people. So give me a, uh, give me a first off a strength a strength check to see if you got if you climb that slippery slope. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, um, thirteen. Yeah. Okay. So you make it to make it to the top. And give me a All right. All right. 24. There are no glowing tombs on your uh, tomb. You do see that they all have a sort of gray uh, look to them. The tombstone is certainly very, very gray. Um, grayest thing mm -hmm. in your life. Um, and we got a 23. So you look over at the furthest um, tomb, and it says on the side of it in language that you can clearly read, here lies Plaskin. And then mm -hmm. this uh, one closest to you says, here lies uh, Valley. And the mm -hmm. one uh, furthest from you, or no, the, the, other, the other one that's close to you says, here lies uh, Melrin. Okay. Well, I don't know any of those fucking people, so I'm just going to start rooting around. And uh, this uh, this skull uh, is going to uh, acknowledge you and appear oh. in the color of a uh, gray in the color of a gray skull. Exactly. Hey, man. And he's going to say, oh, who do we have here? A female, finally. I haven't seen a female in a while coming around these parts. Everyone here comes, well, they already come dead. Um, and he says, uh, let me um, let me give you what you need. If oh. you take if you'll have it, the yeah, of course. My gray, the my gray hero. And uh, everything that you just saw and read on that tomb um, explodes into a uh, smoky uh, mess. And with your 24, you uh, perceive that as the uh, cloud of, of fog blows past towards the ship, um, there is a coin, a, a gray coin right in the middle of the, um, of the, of that little island you're on. And All right, well, the, I'm gonna... Yeah, as the uh, tombs break up, you hear a, a, hear a noise say, Morphin time. Morphin time? Yeah. Let's do it. Um, I grabbed the coin. Okay. Obviously. 
Going over to Jake now. Mm -hmm. um, your you hear the th same thing that says it's morphin time. <laughs> um, your Calabunga. your lid fell off. Um, the skull different teenagers. The skull <laughs> uh, turns towards you. Um, does not say anything in particular of importance. And he says, ooh, uh, you're the wrong lad for this one. <laughs> um, and uh, that's all he says. He says, uh, but uh, it seems to me that the other gentleman is not too far away. Or is he? Uh, and that's what he says to you. So we basically have to move around. Um, Sure. I wasn't asking you. I was talking to the group. No. Yeah, I mean, we have to go to all these little rocks, right? But we have to, like, be at the right one. Yeah. It doesn't seem like we have enough people. I mean, we could go get... I'll, I'm going to ask the skull, how do I know who the right one is? Um, well, why don't you look in the two? All right, I look in the tomb. You see a uh, an image of a very corroded image of a mind flare. Oh, who's the mind flare? Is that you, Aaron? Well, that's you. You who? But I'm not. Wait, I'm not the mind flare. No, that's Sprock. Not right now, but it's Sprock as the mind flare. So he's in the ship. Oh, all right. Go carry him out there. Is there somebody else? Uh, is there one? We don't does, have. Does do so. well, Let's go check these other tombs to see who the right people are for the ones that. I think I have already. to move then. Because obviously we need to put Sprock at this one. Oh, do the Aranus cool jump slide and get yeah. up to that one. <laughs> do it. See if anyone else can pull it off. Uh, all right. I'll do the Aranus <laughs> jump slide. <laughs> give me a strength. Give me a. It's not something I would actually do. This is how Teverit dies. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm clearly just going to go back onto the boat, which is right next to me, right? So I'll jump back onto the boat. Okay. Um, yeah, you can almost, you can just climb onto the boat. Great. So I'm going to climb onto the boat. Who's this on the boat now? That's Lone, Lone Star, but he just didn't move his stuff. You That's have, right. on the boat, there is a full crew. Um, Sprock is where you left him. I'm assuming it's just downstairs in the kitchen area where yeah. other brains were. Um, he is on the ground. You guys hit, you guys sort of, he was lean, leaned up against something, but since you crashed the ship, Chris, he's now face planted on the floor, uh, convulsing, um, metamorphosizing. Metamorphing. Metamorphing, big bad. Is there another little boat off the boat that I yes. can use to get to the other, I can use to get yep. to the other rock, right? Yeah. There, the, this boat has two of its own canoes, uh, one that Matt took, and it also has uh, two of the uh, engine canoes. These boats. Yeah. But those can are tied a, up. Can I take a canoe over to this rock over here? Uh, yeah, I'll just let you do that, but you have to give me a strength check to um, climb the, the rock. 19. You very, very easily climb the rock. Great. I'm going to look at this tomb instead. Does it also have a lid on it? Yes, it does. Can I push it off? You can try. I'm going to try. Give me a strength check. Uh, 6. <laughs> um, you, a natural one. Uh, you, it, 
Does not move. Great. Oh, that's great. Uh, give, but you'll be able to give me an investigation. Before I cut over. Okay. The investigation is a nine. Um, this image on this tomb uh, says uh, here lied Doomhand. Ah. Um, okay. Now we're going to cut over to, to Aaron. Okay, um, I watched Lone Star blast through the top of his shit and Rena come out, and I'm just looking like, what? So I look at my thing, I reach into my backpack and I pull out my crowbar, nice. I fucking kick that shit into the fucking seam, and I try again, Give and I have advantage on this yeah. roll. What? Give me, uh, it'll be a, a lowered, a lowered uh, roll because you have advantage and you're also using the crowbar. 15 and 18. Uh, this thing pops off, um, and the skull does its thing, um, and it turn it pops up and it turns red. Uh, it spins towards you, and it says, "Ooh, we have ourselves a little ragey, uh, little ragey red, uh, waiting for one of you guys to pass away." Um, seems to be that uh, that time was not too long ago. Um, and he says, here, you have my, my ninja. Um, and he, uh, everything happens, you know what happens. It turns into a big cloud of uh, red smoke. Um, take this emblem, my friend. Uh, and then as the uh, tomb explodes, you hear a voice that says, Morphin time. <laughs> Hilarious. These are Power Rangers. All right, well, um, in the tombstone, is there like an, a dagger or anything? Um, no. Okay. Uh, it, Lone Star is still over on the, the green, yeah. over at the green thing, right? There is a, yep. there is a red coin in the middle of the island that this, that, that everything. I'm going to tap my head to Lone Star. And, um, when he establishes the connection, I'm just going to ask, are you going to the middle? Well, is the coin on my <laughs> island or in the center? You grabbed your coin, and I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, I thought you said the coin was on the center island. It's in the center. Uh, it's in the center of your island. Oh, so I, I go get my coin. Um, you pick it up, and the coin immediately burns right into your skin and sort of, ah! sort of ah! it's into your body. Ah! And Rip Oh but wait, I get the feel, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Doesn't feel hot. Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, it doesn't feel hot. <laughs> um, it sort of feels cool, and it, and it slowly gets absorbed into your skin. Um, and the skull is going to say to you, he's going to ask you, um, "Do you choose to be bound?" Um, the red hero. I'm Which going to say, I already chose this path. I was bound before this. <laughs> He's going to tell you um, that you have become a Skull Force Ninja Clan. These nice. island was built for these Skull Force Ninjas. Um, they were an ancient and elite fighting force made up of six members that were believed to have been chosen by the gods to wield their power and protect each sage by use of special Skull Force coins. As each sage is hey. used, so are the respectful Skull Force Ninja coins. There are six coins in existence. Each coin is bound to the soul of the user until death. These coins are no longer considered magic items. So he says they're not magic items. You are bound. It's um, magic to me. And um, you okay. cannot get rid of your coin until you die. That's hot. Okay, cool. Um, 
I will then uh so wait, Rena and Lone Star are now over here on the green up rock, right? Uh Rena wasn't there. I thought it was just like the green head popped out when that happened. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, okay. Unless Rena did pop out. No, so then I'm gonna tap my I'm gonna look over to Lone Star um to try to get uh Lone Star's attention. And, and I was like, what the hell is going on with all of this shit? And like, did you get info? Did you get affiliated into the the clan? Like, are you a part of this? Did you say yes? Because I said yes. I'm gonna look at the the coin in my hand. Oh, uh, so it comes back to you, the skull. At the same time that uh, he was speaking to um, Aranus, he said the same thing to you. The Skull Force Ninja Clan is an elite fighting force. I'm gonna look at Rena. I'm gonna look at Lone Star, and I'm just gonna say, say yes. For you, for you, I'll turn back to the Skull and say yes. Yeah. To um, the Swords. Can you see him? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I came ready. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, so. Chris, your same thing happens. Your your coin sort of gets fused with your skin, um, goes into your body, and um, it feels good. You feel like one. More power. Ooh, that's all. I want a cool coin power. I got a coin. Um, and I'll tell Aaron. So I'll see you back at the boat, or or let's check out the center island. Uh, yeah, definitely go to the center island. Yeah, and I'll dive doing. back in the water. Okay, so you're gonna dive back in the water. Uh, how far is the center mm -hmm. from all the islands? Uh, forty feet. Everything's forty feet away. I'm gonna do um, the same. Run, jump, misty step. Oh well, I'll wait for my turn. Sorry. Uh, Matt. Mm. I felt there is a uh, gray coin in the ground. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to pick it up. I see everyone else getting cool coin powers. Um, it's not like green, I can't see the giant talking skull. So Your coin uh, freezes and, and uh, melts into your body. And it says... It uh, freezes? Is that what you said? Yeah, it freezes into your body. And um, mm. it's like it feels hot. So it's so cold that it feels hot or so hot it feels cold. Um, and it goes into your mm -hmm. body. Uh, it melds with you. The the skull says, "Would you like to be bound to the ninja clan?" Oh hell yeah! Okay. Um, and he says, "All you must do is hit." Is what? Not too shabby. He Thanks says, for asking. Sit. Hey Siri, please stop. It? Sit. He says, "Say it." And okay. Oh, I'll, I'll say it, and it'll it'll do what it's meant to, and it fades away. What are you okay? Uh, I want to be a part of the ninja clan. Nothing happens when you say that. What? Well, you're you're part of the ninja clan. Oh, right. okay. Well, yeah, well who am I telling to do what? I don't know. I'm said, I missed the skull, something. The skull, okay, so the skull said. There are three of your bodies at this at this uh, tomb. Your mm -hmm. your sage is still alive. All you have to do is say the words, and the power of the ninja will come to you. Oh, I forget who well, is the uh, sage Melrin. Um, no, wait, who? who he says, who's who's I, no, 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 sorry, I don't mean to be uh, metagame for a second, but I never obtained a skull. None of my characters. No, no, none of your, none of your, yeah. sins, which is why. Okay, I, I just wanted to be clear about that because I, I don't, rem I don't remember any of them ever having, uh, ever having been distinguished in that manner. Um, but I think it was Plithkin who at least encountered a mage. Um, yes, he encountered the gray, uh, you will, you, 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 you wouldn't necessarily know it, but you encountered a, uh, sage of the gray. All right. So I say, Pliskin, give me power. It's morphin time. Ooh. Um, you get a cool point, Matt. 
Ooh. As you um, as you say, it's morphing time. A uh, how do I describe this? A uh, gray mithril covers your entire body from head to toe. Ooh, uh, like, like venom awesome, style. Also, mass armor. And a roll me a uh, roll me a one d four. D four. Yeah, one d four. Uh, two. A bow appears in your hand. Oh, all right. Um, you are essentially a Skull Force Ninja, aka a Power Ranger, and I will be. <laughs> I will be sending you some details about this. Um, you Did can you only... just get a, a Power Rangers uh, a virtual tabletop set? Basically. <laughs> and that's why you put all, all this spent, together? So I was like, I know I should be playing the Kraken Hunt, but I decided to spend the entire week making a uh, homebrew... Um, Power Ranger? Power Ranger... Uh, stuff so you there's a bunch of things here um when you are at low health or sick or suffer a significant amount of damage um you can say you can yell out it's morphing time and on um you are able to summon your mystical weapon there are some advantages to it there are some disadvantages to it um you do not have to attune to this it's with you forever you have a specific weapon. They are plus two weapons. Uh, when you level up later on, they become plus three. And you have a bonus action when you attack. Uh, I'll, I'll send this all out to you uh, late, later tomorrow or whatever. Um, right. You guys can choose to, if there are more of your Skull Force people around you uh, within a certain amount of feet, you they can also, when you yell morphing time, they can also morph if they have the same uh, negative impact if you're at low health. You get temporary hit points, um, and your rolls for a crit hit are 18 to 20. But Ooh. but bad guys can also crit on you for an 18 and 20. 18 and 20. And so there mm. are certain... Mm. I like that. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. As a bonus like action... Yeah. No, no risk, a, no reward. As a yeah. bonus action, you can summon your weapon. And if you are within um, 30 feet of your uh, other ninjas, and all four ninjas have to be in the same area, um, you can form a Skull Force ninja cannon that <laughs> uh, has its own amount of detail. Uh, and because uh, Skull <laughs> Skull Force Ninjas love uh, acting and charisma. You get <laughs> double your proficiency if you are um, your your proficient in charisma checks. When you level up later on, um, depending if you survive and how nice I am, you might be able to uh, summon a mythical for uh, Warforged beast, but that's much later on. Oh, so there's that. Wait till the, the power of the snow is going to be so impressed. I bet Matt's upset that he's not a Power Ranger now. Um, all right, Jake, it's your turn. I am a Power Ranger. You just made me one. No, oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, yeah. Morphin time. Um, <laughs> you see, um, you, what'd you do? You threw this, your, your lid off? Yeah, I threw my lid off. Um, Inside of this tomb is a rotten, disgusting, gross-smelling, nasty elephant woman. This must be protected. No. An elephant woman? Mm -hmm. Elephant woman? Mm -hmm. uh, investigate Lots further. Awesome. Locks it on. I'm gonna investigate further. Um, give me a twenty. You you look in, um, and you see that 
you watch as this uh, elephant sort of starts to grow back its skin um, and it looks not familiar to you because you tether it. Um, it has robes uh, of an elephant, it has tusks, its tusks start to grow back. Um, and just as you are sort of watching this thing turn into a beautiful elf, uh, elephant, a uh, loxodon, um, and uh, just as you see this starts to move a little bit, it gives you the finger and it says, not so fast, sucker. And uh, it decays into, into dust. And as since you rolled a 20, um, you hear a loud laughing vo uh, voice of a dwarf. Um, and the inside of this tomb is completely pitch black. Remembering that the tombstone head said, doom hand on. Mm. Mm. Okay. The tomb, the skull is going to turn over to you and he's going to say, This one was already taken. This skull was already taken. Yeah. This coin was already taken. Okay. You got one more. All right. Where's that one? The post power slide. <laughs> post power slide um is it the green islands no one's in the green islands no that's where lone star was it's the one that this other boat hit i'm gonna do something i should have done a long time ago and i'm gonna bring out an npc um buzz duzos is gonna come out and he's going to be um uh, levitating. And he's going to say, guys, the crew is getting antsy in a, in a, um, just hovering above the, the ship. Your friend here isn't doing well. <clears throat> um, um, I'm going to tell Lone Star to tap us in to this dude. And, um, <laughs> when that connection comes through, I'm just going to be like, settle down. We'll be there in a moment. So through this ridiculous game of telephone, tel telepathically. Um, it's okay. How's he doing? How's he doing? He's not doing well. He's got vomit coming out of his face. There are some tentacles. He's bleeding. He stinks. Needs a shower, maybe. Some soap. His, his fingers are webbed together. He... Uh, Looks like one of his eyeballs might have popped out. Oh God! His, his skin, his skin, is sort of okay. melting in a crispy fashion. Do Do we know that um, that uh, Sprock has to go to that one stone? Um, Tever, do you say anything to us about that? What did you say anything about Sprock having to go to that one stone? Well, he needs to go to the one that's right tied next to the ship. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I would uh, I would tell those Duzos. I think he might need some fresh air. Can you drag him onto the stone right next to the boat, and then put that coin in his hand, <laughs> or like put his hand on the coin? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to look at Lone Star. Can I hear this happening right now? Uh, Lone Star, are, you, is, are we all in, like, in a network that you've patched us into? Wait, what, what's the issue? What's going on? Lone Star, we should not bring whatever this thing is into this team right now. What, we Sprock? Hard disagree. We could have a mind flare ninja. Hard, hard disagree. Sprock he's still is not quite I'm talking strong. to him. He's still there. All right. If you believe he's still there, fine. I just he looks a little different. Well, look at me. I'm a wet bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I trust you. Go ahead. <laughs> um 
Does Zuzos is gonna say, why drag him when we can use our uh do they, don't they have um think they, levitate? Yeah, he's just gonna carry him sort of and levitate with a strength check. Ooh, 19. So he very gently comes over and lays him down as you wish. Got my captain. Sprock, are you okay with me telling him to put that coin on your body? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, he's, going to confirm. To, he's going to reach over. Um, well, no, tell him to put Sprock's hand on it because I don't want him to touch the coin. Okay, so the skull is going to awaken and he's going to say, ooh, there are two of you here. Only one seems to be a hero that uh, is worthy of an option. And he's, you hear this uh, sound of a big poof and a big blue cloud comes out um, and blows past the ship just as the other ones did. And there's a blue coin on the ground. Um, Desduzos is gonna look uh, sort of like an alien, not really interested in the coins. Um, and through that knowledge, I guess you can put together um ranger do you have any uh do you have any what what's your your hunting stuff what what characters are you matt what do you what do you mean do you know anything like about my characters? like do you about have, yeah and i know about some stuff like do you know like enough about them to know their inner workings depends what it is so, like, do you know that there's a hive mind and the and the hive the hive mind is pretty much they only care about the hive mind? Um, no, my specials are more elementals and goblins and dragons. All right. Well, Chris, you you've had some experience with. Uh, Wait, but I am players. like a, a natural investigator in that yeah. sense. So, like, I have advantage on survival checks to or intelligence checks to recall information about enemies and stuff like that. That's going to come in handy a little bit later. Um, All right. So, so Chris, you have some experience with, with uh, mind flares more so than anyone else. You can put together that the indifference of Thesduzos with the coin sort of hints at the fact that the um, uh, Alpha colony is not interested in that. In that, um, mm. in that coin. Yeah. Anyway, so he puts um, the coin into uh, Sprock's hand. Um, Jake, you got to roll me um, a a survival check, I guess. Do you know what is happening? Or Sprock? Sprock is. Sprock has shit his pants, his skin is melting off, one of his eyeballs fell down, he's got tentacles on his face, he's been eating brains for hours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he stinks. Um, does he have the ability to accept a being bound to the coin and becoming a, a Skull Ninja Force? Remember. I would telepathically tell him this there's something happening, it's good for you. Just accept what what the, this feeling you're feeling into your palm. Sprock, do you accept Jesus accept into your Jesus. life? <laughs> uh yeah, I do. Okay, the coin just the coin disappears. Um, just keep in mind, you don't know uh, that it has happened, but it has absorbed into your body. All right. Um, there is one more tomb. Yeah, um, I'm going to go over to it. And you guys have been here for at least we've played, we've been at this map. We should move forward at least. I'd, in real time, it's been two. It's been one hour, but in game time, I think it's been closer to two. All right, I, I'm gonna move on that little boat that I brought over to that island, over to the last island by the boat that we haven't investigated. Okay. Um, can I? Can I? Um, all right. 
All right, yeah, yeah. Let, let him do his thing. I, I definitely want to make it to the center island before anything. Heading okay. out. Yeah. Let, let's, uh, bang, bang, bang this out. Um, okay, so Sprock, you're, you're over at the island. You um, No, it's actually Sprock is getting loaded onto that other island by the guys from the boat, right? Temperate oh, yeah. is the one who's moving. This brings him back over. Uh, kind of confused of what just happened. Um, and you are going over to the last um, island. Right. Okay. So you get over there, you do a strength check to climb up. We get a strength check. Oh, eight. Um, you slip off and fall into the water, and oof, so close, nothing happens. All right, <laughs> then I'm gonna climb back into the boat at least. Is that the end of my turn, or do I try my yeah? That's into your turn, uh, Aaron. Where are you going? You're Misty stepping over, uh, to the center island. Same deal, jump in 11 feet, Misty step. Uh, give me a acrobatics. 19. You get over there. Boom. Um, I want to look around. Perception? <laughs> investigation? Uh, the investigation. Mm, 26. Um, hey, Chef. Relax. <laughs> yeah, Chef. He's trying to, he's busy. Chef's trying to morph. Make sure it's morphin time. Sure. Heard you're handing out coins. Jeff is trying to make sure that the uh, Chinese food delivery guy doesn't morph. Um, <laughs> Don't morph so my food look, into their mouth. You look over uh, on the. My uh, guy just disappeared when I tried to put him on the center rock. There are like hieroglyphics uh, chiseled into this old ancient stone. There mm -hmm. are images of um, men oh, um, nice. and women turning into uh morphing um that you can put together there are images of uh them using their specific weapons there's images of a, a long sword a dagger a bow and an axe um there's a sh uh, dagger, bow. Uh, oh, dagger, dagger fuck yeah there's um <laughs> images of them shooting a special cannon looking type weapon Oh, because we forge them all together. Duh. There are images of very huge, massive uh, warforged beasts. Um, they look like uh, rock-like giant lions and shit. Oh, uh, they'll get mechs. Oh, fuck. and there's also um, Is that like the Zelda, like the Zelda beef kind. Of? They also, yes, exactly. They also have. Oh um, shit! So. They also have uh, images of these. Uh, uh, Warforged beasts joining together to make sort of larger, uh, <laughs> more larger beasts. mega Zord type beasts. And they are all uh, doing this, um, and uh, because it looks like the hieroglyphs also show um, that there is a much larger uh, Warforged beast um, that seems to be. Uh, attacking the Warforged beasts assembled from the various smaller ones. Um, the is it, does it look like the Kraken? It looks like a tall. Um, it looks exactly like the Green Ranger's Zorg. This is Valley. Valley sacrificed himself because he only rolled low. Don't be a Valley. Roll high and subscribe. Oh my God! Yes. Um, oh yes. And that's it. That's that's what you get for your thing. Okay. Um, we so go to I'm assemble, do... and it's a it's a person with one leg. The <laughs> man's not there. <laughs> Just imagine Sprock inside of one of these things with his eyeball out, and shit in his pants, and he's he's still prone. <laughs> um, I'm going to telepathically communicate to Lone Star. Um, the images that I'm seeing and I'm going to let him know that I believe that 
we are able to combine our weapons to create a greater weapon, but also we can somehow, we might also be able to somehow use these powers to create or become creatures that are large. And it seems like those creatures can also combine to create an even larger creature. But worse than that, or I guess more important than that is there is a larger creature yet that it seems like we will have to fight. So you should tell everybody. Well, I'm second guessing this. I kind of want to give my coin back. <laughs> uh, let's Aaron, uh, l- Aaron, let's get everyone back on the boat and head towards uh, DeSantis's door and get some rest before this Kraken comes to fight us. And if we're still around afterwards, we'll come back and look at this. Um, before we leave, I want to check this other ship. So I'm going to um, once again leap and Misty Step to this other boat. Okay. That's uh, all down over here. Me, yeah, you'll, you're close enough to not have to... Oh, I don't have to Misty Step, so I'll just jump onto it. Yeah. Um, Give me a perception check. Percent. As soon as I get back to the boat, I'm going to give uh, our boy who drag sprock the alpha colony i'm gonna give him another one of the black brains the good ones black ring yeah thanks for uh moving sprock around Zuzos is gonna say yes my captain i got a 15 um it's just full of crab moss and it looks like it it's about to fall apart underneath you Oh, all right. Then I'm going to pull a fucking Lone Star and just hop off, dive into the water, and swim back to the ship. Okay. Uh, Jake, you're still on the other island. Am I, am I on there or am I climbing back up? Yeah, uh, you're on there now as this was happening. Great. Um, I guess all I want to open this last tomb. Um. This tomb happens to be um, glowing white. Okay. And um, you roll me a strength check. It's like glowing white on the outside? On the outside, yeah. Just as the other ones, like uh, Rena's and... um, Rena's and uh, Aaron's were grow- uh, were growing red and, and green for the ones who for the heroes who have died. Those were the ones that were glowing. So like Matt's was glowing sort of gray. Um, Aaron, uh, Rena's was growing green. Um, this one doesn't have a tomb of a sage on it, but it has one that's growing glowing uh, white. Yeah. All right. Well, I got an eighteen. Uh, so you push this top off, you look inside, um, and there is um, just old tusks. Um, and give me a perception check one last time. Uh, I got a seven plus his perception is minus one, six. Um, it, the tombstone says, here lies uh, Loxida. Um, the, the white sage. And the tomb, the uh, skull is going to turn his head to you and it's going to glow white. Um, and it's going to say to you, this one has also been taken. Did everyone just get booted from the game? Yep. All right. Yeah. Probably because Spencer's computer crashed. No, my shit's still running. Oh. You guys just suck. 
Um, I, think, I think your computer's frozen right now. You just don't even know it. No, I'm just kidding because you're still on Zoom. So obviously, yeah, I yeah, don't know I why we got booted. That's wild. Uh, do you want me to restart? Uh, well, it's not showing. It's no, not let's just play. Let's just play with you moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Play let's just use the Zoom. Go ahead, go. You guys, get back on the boats. Um, you guys have these uh, experiences. Uh, you feel good. Um, how's how's uh, Sprock doing? Sprock, Am I pulling out of it yet? So, so he had four hours left. So now it's down to two hours left. Oh shit! Yeah, um, you got to give That's me two hours. Uh, yeah, you're. Where are you headed now? We're headed towards the. We're gonna meet up with the turtle. Okay, so you meet up with the turtle. Um, you Sprock has two hours left. How much time left for the Kraken? There is. There was sixteen. You had uh, six hours to get there. There was ten. Um, two, and now we have eight hours left. Eight hours left. Uh, you have enough the, time for a, a long rest if we want. Um, yeah, you're at the you're at the turtle. Um, Sprock, uh, I'll just say that you're coming to. Um, you now get to roll. Um, since you passed your save, there is no other death save. Um, I'll just say that the traveling back to the ship, tying up, um, and preparing for battle, uh, will be the last portion of your, of your hours there. Um, you now get to roll for the cer Ceramorphous complete stage. Uh, so you roll 1d20, uh, for Sprock. And we determine uh, 11. Okay. Oh. You are going to have uh, portions of your character changed depending on, let's see, which type of, on the normal mind flare. So you are going to be half. Some ceramorphoses are considered true elithids. In fact, they are inherited. Um, they inherit all the standard traits. So you pretty much become a mind flayer that you can control, but you're also going to be able to retain because you rolled above a 10, you get to retain your mind. Um, oh, I'll have, yeah, I'll, you get, you're going to have a lot of, it just gives you, it's going to give you a lot more of uh, some strong magic, um, that you may be able to use. You're going to have an option to use mind blast of some kind once a long rest. Um, mind blast sounds awesome. good. That sounds very good to look at. Yeah. For that, Aaron, is, I'm going to mind blast you. I got man blasted. This is like essentially changing his racial traits with that of the mind yeah. flare, right? Yeah. Nice. So uh, wait, I'm blasted for how much? So this you is he didn't even want you to be in the ninja gang. Everyone, yeah, Jake, you can make everyone come for 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do I gain HP for that? <laughs> yeah. so, I'm gonna mind blast you. So <laughs> Jake was having uh, hallucinations. He went to the bathroom all over himself. His skin was like melting off. His eyeball is still gone. Hey, 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 hey. You have a patch on your eye. I went to the bathroom on top of other people, too. That's true. <laughs> no, on top of their dead bodies. Don't worry. Uh, Danny and Sally watched this entire thing happen. They are between the ages of four and five and 12. And, uh, <laughs> and and Mary and Paul too, right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. They're there for snacks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's well, not anymore. But Jake, you because you are a a normal mind flare, not just one of these uh, like slave like mind flares, the weak ones, because you rolled above a ten. Um, you are occasionally 
um, going to need to eat a brain uh, or you suffer exhaustion. So you will always have That's to- okay. Matt's still in our party. He'll feed me brains. I, I, chef's here, man. We're good. You are of the Strezel colony, um, which means that you are going to be periodically uh, given orders by the Strezel colony hive brain, uh, and you'll have to roll um, to see what happens when they when those things come about. Oh, great! Uh, but for the moment, you're not. Um, you're not part of that. Cool. All right. Um, okay. So Jake is sort of like a mind flare, uh, but not, but not really. You will have to figure out how your, how your, how this affects you being a. I don't think it's going to affect you being a druid, but no. Well, we'll see. All right, you guys have eight. You guys have a little less than eight hours to before the kraken shows up. You're in the middle of the ocean. Um, this island does not seem to be um, like a great place to hunker down. Uh, the you're on the you're with the turtle. Um, what would you guys like to do? You want to rest up? You guys want to? So I'm gonna look over at Ignis. And I'm yeah. gonna look at Lone Star, and I'm gonna be like, I feel like I'm like it's how morphin you, time. How did you activate that? Yeah, like I'm gonna look at him, I'm like, how did you make it work? <laughs> like, what did you do? Uh, uh, I'm gonna play dumb. Like I don't know, man. It's cooler than you, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna look at my thing, and I'm gonna try to activate it. Because I want to know that I want to know how to activate it when I want to use it. Yell out! It's morphin time. Oh, all right. Uh, it's morphin time. Uh, what's your health at? Seventy. Um, nothing happens. What? Can I, I morphin time with? Can, so you can I pull to... out the weapon on my in my hand? Um. You have to be morphed to become uh, uh, a Skull Force hero. I was about to say Power Ranger, and you um, you can summon your your weapon uh, as a bonus action whenever that happens. However, in order to become a uh, ninja, your HP has to be where is that? Uh, a quarter of your health. No, half of your half of you. You have to lose uh, less than half of your HP, or take damage amounting to one quarter of your HP in uh, order to uh, uh, turn into it. So you have to be suffering. Got it. Uh, oh, it's like a during a fight thing. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh hey, guess what? Uh, I just loaded back up tabletop and nothing is black anymore. Hey, the sails are black. But whatever. I'll uh, I'll walk in, see uh, see Sprock there coming to and getting used to his normal self. I'll throw him a uh, a black brain and be like, I'll catch you when I wake up. We got a kraken to kill. Yeah, we should right. take a long rest. Um, but actually, um, so what I'm gonna do because uh i feel like we wouldn't know this i'm gonna start i'm gonna like do everything that i can to think of to like try to make myself morph i'm going to literally start hurting myself until <laughs> i get to a low enough hp that it works <laughs> can you sneak attack yourself <laughs> i don't think so but um, I like cast mage hand and turn around, do to do, like have it stab me in the back, <laughs> like tap you on your other shoulder. It um, lasts for uh, it lasts for ten minutes. Um, and then what's the recast on it? Because I, I might actually, I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna actually do. That. I'm just being, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. It lasts for ten minutes uh, currently, and it'll go up. Uh, the more we use it, as you as you level up. 
Uh, you don't have the ability to summon um, a Warforged Beast until a later level. Right. Um, can you turn it Wait, sorry, a since we're asking questions, can you turn it <laughs> off when you want? You can you can choose to end it whenever you want. Okay. So uh, bonus, uh, not even you, you put two more half damage or one quarter done in a hit. I'm gonna, I'll send this I'll send this to you right now. Okay, cool. Um but I'm just gonna write in my notebook because I just I just yeah. um oh, summon a weapon. So I'm going to try to summon my dagger because I want to know how to use my stuff. I'm not going to try to figure it out while I'm fighting a fucking Kraken. Like, I got a couple hours. It's like eight hours until the Kraken comes. I only need four hours to long rest. Like, I, I do want to know how to use my abilities. Like, I'm crazy. I would totally fucking spend time on the deck figuring this out. Um, so I want to try. I want to spend some time figuring out how to summon my weapon. And you can tell me how long it takes for me to figure it out. Um, but it's like it's like an inherent thing. Like you're you just got like magically absorbed a power. Like the Power Rangers don't need to figure out how to use their powers. They had Zordon explain it to them. I guess that's true. Brian Cranston. Well, we, we had <laughs> our. That's what the floating skull was to us. Yeah, he's 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 okay. like our guy. He like gave us all like telepathically. Like, okay, but yeah. How do like I summon the, the weapon? Up. And how long does the weapon last? You can summon it when you're when you when you become a skull force uh, ninja. You can summon it as a bonus action as soon as that happens at any point in time during the uh, during the transformation during your ninja. Oh, but I can't summon it until I'm a skull force ranger. Yeah. You never you never see a power ranger whip it out. You know, yeah. When they're hanging at the mall, they don't have their it weapons. Might be Come right. On, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to talk about that. All right. All right. Well, separately, while we're waiting for the kraken, I still have two large tunas in my inventory. I'd like to get the crew a feast. You know, like in oh. Game of Thrones when they're all gonna die. Matt, so. <laughs> Matt you get a cool point for this. Excellent. Like oh, two. Team morale. What's two today. Okay, um, you're cooking some tuna. Let's I got see. two large tunas that we caught, I think, last session and the session before. It seems like <laughs> it's time. It's time. We need we need everyone nice and full and, and feeling good before the battle. All right, give um, me um, give me a. I'm gonna eat in long rest, and that takes four hours. So we still got four hours left. Yeah. Okay, enough for a uh, side quest. Or, I mean, uh, or would you guys like to just start sailing towards DeSantis? Yeah, I think we should just head in the right. In the, I mean, the only thing is, before we go away from these pieces of land, I will. I will just point out to my crew: we are waiting on this kraken, and the kraken's best territory is clearly completely open sea. At least yeah. here, there's some land. Well, like, that has to be to our advantage. There's not actually land under these stones. Yeah, there's. It's just the floating. They're just floating rocks. Yeah, but they're still floating rocks. Like in completely open water, there's nothing. That's fair, actually. I'm like I'm it's obviously that. at its most advantageous to be in completely open water. It's a cracking. Maybe we can do something with the. I don't know. I don't have a good plan. I'm just saying. It feels like we're at least but, in a different well, terrain. We. We ran into the rocks ourselves. I, I have a feeling that's far more dangerous for us than the Kraken. Yeah, I guess. I guess. All right. O open sea battle with the Kraken it is, if I'm outvoted. I don't know. I kind of like your idea that we could pin, like, take some high ground. Well, we could I'm also just saying it's a it's a rock and we have eight rocks. hours. We we have some magical cannons, like we could we could do something. Yeah, let's actually, you know what? If because it's chasing us, if we stood on the rocks, it would be attacking us, and we could have the crew circle the boat around it and fire at it. Hmm. Well, either way, that's holding up with the rocks and fortifying there. Yeah, and I mean, even if the rocks aren't like secure to anything, at least they're 
there. Like, I'm not saying we move the boats inside the, I don't know. I just feel like, can anyone create illusions? Can we make some bait at the rocks? I guess um, we're bait. I can create kind of an illusion. <laughs> you mean, I mean, Raven? Raven? Well, no, Prestidigitation allows me to create, uh -huh. like, I feel like that might not fool a giant kraken, though. Yeah, it's not like the senses won't be fooled. Like, it'll just look like us, but then once it tries to inspect it. Okay, let me ask a question. I'm just going to throw this out there hypothetically. Sure. Maybe we, like, he's coming for essentially the five of us. One of us, I'm not saying who yet, but I think we will all have an idea. Could somehow be... <laughs> 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 it could somehow be like you know in the in the middle we could create some sort of distraction but like just you know like a piece of bait all right i i yes Are you there's no telling that the kraken would go for it but so do we want to send the turtle away then yeah i think that what we do is if okay okay to to ignis's point I think that what we can do, right? We're all strategizing here on the poop deck. Um, yeah, we're just kicking. Hey, no bad ideas in brainstorming. It, you know, so there's, we there's, want to go this, open this, this, You know, this we're is what hey, happens now, over that delicious meal. Yeah, fish is on the grill. We're hanging out. Um, oh I, yeah, the crew. The crew gains uh, six morale back. Good job, man. excellent. Good job. So what I would say is, um, to Ignis's point. If we're able to lure the Kraken to this to these rocks, I mean, we might prevent other ninja force whatever from being created if it start decides to just destroy this entire island. But, mm. but we're we already ninjas, die, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. It won't be necessary. <laughs> as long as we don't die, it won't be necessary. There won't be any need for any other ninjas. Yeah, so, I'm not worried but about also, that. There could be like some magic here that makes it so that they can't be destroyed. So why don't we do why I, I think to his point, like let's lure the Kraken to the center rock, do what we can to keep it there. And well, I'm saying we could away. set up uh we have a couple of ballistas from the turtle. Uh, right. We could set up one of everything we got on sort of like the angles around. And maybe we could at least weaken it with like an initial blow. Like we bait it and we try and like give it a give it a good like blast of everything we got and then start fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah. One one like other a, point like of one other point of note. If we're going off to fight a kraken after we just gained these new fancy powers, what better place to test them out than the place with the talking head that can tell us how to do things in the middle it's of true. battle if we don't know how to do things? Ooh, it's true. true. Good, good point. True. Point. And like, if we go down, we're going down with Skull Force Ninja. Yeah, it's true. yeah. What? Like, I love that. We got to protect ourselves, and they're going to protect us. So this is what we should do. I and mean, I'll totally let myself. I'll I'll totally play uh, bait for this because I feel like I can more easily get around this, especially in this area. Um, I'm gonna long. Well, how, well, wait, before you agree to that, how far are we from the wings being finished? Because I feel like if one of us can fly, they should. No, I, I, I need the long rest more than I need the wings. More than you need that. Okay. I mm -hmm. with with my four hour long rest, I'll be I'll have both my spell slots back, and I can misty step. I mean, continuously three times, so I can get as far as ninety feet. Like I'll I'll be I'll be good. Like I okay, I, but we gotta I, assume that the. In this scenario, again, just no, just spitballing. But like, we gotta assume the kraken is gonna destroy all the boats and the turtle. Right. Like, I think there's gonna have to be a safe assumption for this plan. Like, we might, if we defeat the kraken, we might be here. This is what we should do. Well, send the play, turtle yeah. and the. Oh, now, let ahead. me play bait. I think the boat should go to one side and the turtle should go to the other side. We set up ballistas on each. And mm -hmm. when the Kraken appears to attack the center, th the center island where I am, where it sees me, right? We use the ballistas to potentially anchor it to the center island by, you know, impaling tentacles or whatever into the center mass, into the center mass of the island. And 
I will then misty step to either the boat or the turtle, whatever is the closest at that point, and I'll be able to judge in that moment. And we get the fuck out of there. I don't think we try to fight it to death. I think we just need to stall it long enough to get a long enough head start so that it can't catch us. You, you think we're going to outrun the Kraken in some way, just to I be clear? I think that if we stall it long enough, we might be able to at least get somewhere. <laughs> do we have Do we have hmm. anything that could hurt the Kraken if it ate it or it got close? Yeah, to that's why I was like thinking something like a Jaws style. Yeah. My thought is these these old boats, if we use one of us, we can use Aranus. He's offered himself up as bait. We can <laughs> use Aranus in one of these old boats with a lot of stuff that can blow up so this Kraken can go and try and eat him and mm-hmm. right when he's yeah. about to go into the pincers Aranus can miss the step out of there and just be like boop I'm, you're not eating me anymore uh, you know what I do have some oil I mean it's only a little bit for like a lantern but maybe these other maybe our boat and the well there's a floating city on the turtle I feel like he's gonna have some stuff Right, yeah. Uh, what explosive stuff is available in this floating city? Like, I, I, I mean, you know, I've got like a flask of oil, but like, is there a, we are also we fill, how many barrels of oil can we fill right now? Um, he's got. They've got. <laughs> well, they have cannons. The they have, have something after the fish they fry. Listen, any- listen. Hold on. Wait. After the fish oil. fry, like after the fish have been fried, we've eaten. That's probably about an hour and a half, maybe, right? So we talked all this out. We ate some fried fish. All right, now we look around. We're just like, we're discussing this plan. We're just like, wait a minute. How much oil is left on this fucking turtle? Like, how much oil is left in your fortress? Well, gunpowder. They have cannons. Yeah, there's um, a bunch of cannons. We make a giant bomb in both of these boats. No, I say we make a giant bomb on the center island. No, we all no, no, no. no, the boat is a much better idea because the boat itself won't have resistance that the I, the center mass might have. So the Kraken will go and grab mm-hmm. it and it'll pull it down and then it explodes. It would be much better for me to be standing on this decrepit boat that's not going to hold any resistance from the thing and plus shrapnel, right? Like, okay, and, so here's, here's what I'm worried about. Grabbing a boat versus uh, a I'm island. worried about him not going for you as the bait. I feel like we all need to be there. No, I so, think I think if you I think you guys I, I think if you guys are far enough away, we'll come to the closest target. Like why wouldn't I, yeah. and I think if us. we're on an island and he's on a boat, it's gonna go to the boat. Mm. I mean it's it. still probably gonna attack us while it's eating thing. him. I'm gonna fucking shoot lightning at it. I'm gonna be like pow, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I'm just saying, what if we made if we were all on the boat, so we know what's going to get us, Aranus can misty step, and the rest of us can just zip line to a different. If we, I guess, it doesn't work from boat to boat, it will work from the rock to the boat. That's what I was thinking. Well, we're still we're we're still going to try and kill it, so we should be spread out on the rocks. Yeah. Well, Aranus doesn't want to kill it, so that's not a defined plan. No. Yet. No. We're, it, we're it, discussing no. A plan. We're still. We're, we're still not going to outrun we're the Kraken. Talking. We're not going to kill the this kraken, though. Like, yes, I, we are. Be... We're definitely going to kill the kraken. We're 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 skull force ninja man. All right, look, we're going to kill this kraken. Like this is a battle of attrition, right? Like, I think we're oh, going to fucking okay. drag this thing over. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. I see what you Ar- mean. Aranus, I, what you mean. Aranus, I know that you you cover your own ass all the time. <laughs> You're scared. He's scared. It's okay. I know. You I never know. faced a kraken before. I guess. Trust it. me. Here, look, look, look. How many times like, have I, I let you down? I, I, how many I leave, times I have I let knee, you down? I leave down the Lone Star face. <laughs> like what? How many times have I let you down? I mean, besides the time that you tied that, no. I'll <laughs> no. be like, look, I trust you. Th- that that, that was that you. was that dead guy in that in that coffin over there. I'm like, look, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just that we're this, gonna kill this both of us. I'm we're gonna, gonna, gonna kill bigger this bigger than both say, of us. Damn it! Say it with me now. We're gonna kill this kraken. All right, fine. We're gonna kill this fucking kraken. All right, let's go. All right, let's let's build this bomb. All right, we'll build a boat bomb, and then we'll each be situated on different parts of the. We'll each be situated on top of the boat. We'll be ready to leave at the right time. We'll be we'll be tied down to each of us. We'll be tied down to the rock that we're on, so it can't rip us off easily or knock us off. 
Wait, and what can, is we, can we reverse engineer the, ballist, the ballistas so that they pull instead of shoot? What do you mean? Because if we put the ballistas on different islands, right? And then we tie ropes to each uh, to each of the people that... Well, that was my original plan, was to try and, like, snare it. No, 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 no. And... Not snaring it. Hold on a sec. You guys can't miss this step, right? And you can't get away quickly. So if we tie the ropes around your... Oh, way, to, like, yank us out of there? Yank us, thank you, away towards well, your specific island. We all don't need to be on there. And just we can just have actual up. ballistas and then fire ballistas at it. Oh, fair. The uh, turtle, the giant sea turtle, is going to speak telepathy Whoa. to Jake, to Sprock, ah. because he's a turtle, and he's going to say, hey, man. What do you think's going on here? I'm just a turtle. I'm like, turtle, listen. Yeah, I don't know why a, a turtle's talking. Relax. Guys, I think the turtle's talking. <laughs> yeah. Relax, oh, turtle. Tur oh, wise turtle, what do you have to say? Have you, wait, wise turtle, actually, how many times have you come across this kraken sailing these seas like for your entire lifetime? Nice. You're going to ask the, the turtle for inside scoop on the kraken? Yeah. Yep. Like that. Well, if, the, if the turtle's talking, might as well. Yeah. What I'm like, fuck, can... dude, I had no idea you were a guy. Hey, my he guy. He can only talk to the druid because the druid can talk to the turtle. Okay. That's fair. Um, wait, again. but can't Jake mind flare all of us now? Can't he just like tell talk to us telepathically, just generally? No. But he can also no. just tell we have our call. two separate neural networks of yeah, exactly. telepathic connections. <laughs> <laughs> um, the turtle is going to let you know that the kraken is the most feared uh oceanic beast. Oh. Um, no one has ever destroyed it. It, it is always after um, magic treasures. Um, and it uses its uh, Kraken Priest uh, as a warning shot. Uh, it's going to tell you that it's never seen it take damage from man-made attacks. Um, he's, he's sort of like my shell. Uh, very, very hard to. Um, what have you seen it take damage from? Because you said it doesn't take damage from man made attacks, but what have you seen it take damage from? Um, he says the only thing that we know um, has ever hurt the, dra the uh, Kraken is uh, powerful, powerful magic. Uh, rumor has it there's. Uh, a dwarf that sailed the, sh the sea. Um, I heard uh, talking to a uh, giant squid the other day that uh, a large black ship uh, was seen sailing away from these islands not too long ago um, that had come across a, uh, that's captain came across a kraken. Um, and scared it away um, using dark magic. Fucking do, man. I'm gonna like tap on the tableaus. I'm like, fucking do, man. Um, <laughs> okay, so if we can't hurt it with fucking the explosions, won't work because that's not magic. That means that we have to do something. Turtle's gonna say, "I'm gonna go back." I'm back into the, I'm back into the run category. I'm, you know what? I feel like maybe we should run. <laughs> guys are the giant um, floating city turtle thinks it it's the toughest thing in the world. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, if we we can't actually do physical damage to it because we don't have. I mean, I know I don't have enough magic damage to do most of my magic. I I have a feeling. These 
these weapons that appear out of these coins in our hand are pretty damn magical. All right. Well, you know what, Lone Star? I'm going to look at the medallion glowing in my hand and I'm going to be like, it's compelling me to try. So I'm going to try. It's morphin' time. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so what are you guys going to do? The problem, I'm going to hold, so up, I'm gonna hold out I'm my, gonna... my ring out in the air in front of everyone else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be like, I'm going to long rest so I can regain my myself but then i'm also as per the instructions deal my i'm gonna hurt myself enough so that when the kraken arrives i can transform that is a bold move um okay so who wants to deal uh aaron some damage i want to deal myself i can't deal myself damage i can't just Stab myself in the arm. A lone right? star will gladly slap you. <laughs> Just slap me until it's done. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, actually, hold on. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I can do. Oh, uh, no. I can't. I, do, I can do zero damage to you because it's one minus my strength modifier, which is minus one. Oh, fuck. That's so zero. So you slapped him, nothing happened. I mean, if if you want, I can I'll I'll put my gauntlet on, punch you, and I'll yeah. give you one D eight plus five thunder damage. Do it. Okay. Oh, a nineteen, so not a crit. All right. I'll I'll do minimum damage. I'll do the one. Nineteen hit. the light. So that's six damage. All right. All right, take that six. I need. Uh... You know what? Chip, Chip is gonna see this happening, and Orc Chip is gonna hit you with. Uh... Does a uh... does a twelve hit you? No, fifteen or fifteen <laughs> or up. I, my armor class is fifteen. <laughs> He's gonna walk over and swing, and I'm just gonna be like, "Come on, man, swing harder than that." Mike Skill is gonna be like, "Ah, oh, Chip, you, you missed him. Let me try again." Um, ooh, natural one. Uh, white skin is gonna miss you uh, and fall off into the water. Oh so my god! Spend the rest of the time climbing back up. Oh my god! These orcs I'm literally just looking at these people like, what the fuck? I'm not even trying. I'll I'll come over and just punch you in the knee <laughs> for oh. a natural one. You roll a Maddie. Oh, I good. roll a natural one. Get out of the way while I'm punching you instead of a kraken. It's like you punch for my knee and then you hit like you horn, you horn the centaur, you horn the centaur is going to give you a kick in the face, uh, with a uh, (laughs) with his with his shit with his foot. Okay, does a uh, 16 hit you? 16 hits, all right. Uh, take six damage. No, it's so still so close. I'm just gonna swing an uppercut into your taint. <laughs> <laughs> a thirteen plus eight is a twenty-one to hit. That hits. You get uh, you get eleven taint thunder damage. So oh eleven, that's good. Um, fifty-six. Um, I fucking so what's hilarious about that is Lone Star misses my knee. And then this fucking horse, it's a centaur fucking horse kicks me in the fucking jaw. And then Lone Star just punches me in the nuts. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> um, are, you, are, you, are you down there yet? I'm at 56. A 56 of 80. We just said a quarter. No, but you said a quarter at one time, right? Yeah. All right. So I need 16 more damage, guys. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh my like, god, enough of this. I'm gonna I just started out some blood. I'm gonna cradle my nuts and stand up and be like, that's it? That's really it? Donar, Donar says, arrows. you know what? Donar is gonna say, you know what? Let me add him. Uh he's gonna miss. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> 24 to hit. Oh, nice. That hits. And, 20, and 23 to hit. Do those both hit? Both hit. All right. You Donar. take. 11 damage. There we go. 20 total. There you go. 20 total. Mm-hmm. Fuck yes. Mm-hmm. 
Say it. Six. Say it. Did it. Waste of two arrows. You shot me with arrows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like i just got hit in the nuts i'm just standing up and i just get shot in the shoulder twice I'm no like, not only know, that i'm over you don't I'm like to look up get jabbed I'm in your, the thighs and i'm just I'm like, over your body ah, trying to retrieve i'm trying to retrieve ah, you yeah I'm trying to pull them out of you to keep them <laughs> yo you can pull i totally got ace ventura in my thighs that's that's why i'm scared right now um I will say that you take enough damage. All right, I'm at 36, so I took enough damage. So. Oh, shit. And 20 in one hit, so you're good to go. We're out here. All right, so you're trying to turn? No, I just wanted to have enough because I knew what it would oh. take. Okay. All right, so what are you guys uh, doing? What's your what's your battle plan? I'm um, uh, okay. long resting. So... Yeah, I, I will. Yeah, we all long rested at the same time. And after my long rest, getting my spell slots back, they did bad shit. I am going to stand on so red you, eye. You, you've, you've long rested eight hours. And no, 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 no. My long rest is four. Okay. Yeah, mine was eight. Eight. So it's just also four. No, I, I did four. My long rest for an elf is only four. You have you have you have uh, shipmates that can help you. So what are you trying to do? Um, so what I would like to do is are, are you guys down with the reverse ballista plan, tying ropes to you guys to make sure that you can we can be yanked off of? Why, we, like, no, we don't need to be in the boat. Yeah, only you're going to be in the boat. I'm chilling on the turtle. There's no way I'm not going to be on the turtle. No, no, the the turtle's <laughs> going to be long gone. No, what? the turtle's going to go away. The, you guys are crazy. What We're sending our turtle away? No, We're sending the turtle and the boat away. Because <laughs> if not, if not, they're both going to be dead and destroyed. This plan? No, 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 listen. The, the you'd turtle rather, you'd rather boat. stand on an island alone? The, the turtle and Matt, the boat Matt, are you going to... You might die the here. The turtle and the <laughs> boat are going to I'm circle going with the, turtle. the entire thing and shoot at the Kraken. But initially they are both going to be gone they will both come from different sides to yep. shoot at the kraken okay cool we are going to be on the on the island these different okay islands you guys why would we not be just, island. I, why would, I will be leading the turtle crew back to the fighting part that you, you have described. to be you are on the boat so you have to be with us here why would, we not attack you. The, why would we not be on the center island we can I think we should all be on the center island. Center island, and then I mean, look, this is what's going. I, I'm going to let you guys fully know right now. My plan is <laughs> when the kraken comes, I am moving to a place where the kraken is not. So if we are all standing on the center, I just want you to know: as soon as the kraken shows up, I'm out, and I'm going to attack it. But I'm going to be out. I'm not going to stand where the kraken is fucking attacking. <laughs> Yeah, but now that we know that the the explosion isn't going to hurt it, I feel like our initial plan doesn't make any sense. We don't know that the explosion won't hurt well, it. Well, it's going to it's gonna hurt it, but we, we don't think it's going to deal enough damage necessarily. Well, we just need it as a big enough distraction for us to get even one round of hits on it as worth right. it. Right. It's it's not, listen, it's like, uh, it's like throwing it's, dirt in someone's eyes it, that's it, like... It, it, it's getting uh, off on the good on a good foot. Getting the right, fight right. started off on our foot. It's, it's the okay. difference between starting off with advantage and not starting off with advantage. We want to yeah. start this fight with advantage. We want to uh, take okay. this fight to the crack and instead of it cut, taking it to us. Fuck so this crack. What I was going to say <laughs> is we are either all on this this boat or on one of these islands. And we set it up to blow up. And then you guys get pulled to a different spot. And I will miss the step to a different spot. Okay. But I, okay, I, wait. I, but you, I, where, where, though? you look, just said the turtle and the other boats are going to be gone. They are. So, we, so we where, where, the getting, where are we getting pulled to? To what? We rig the ballistas. No. So if we we don't, the, need, we don't need to be pulled on away from the boat. 
We're just gonna fight from the rocks. Aaron Aaron is, is gonna be on the boat with a bunch of explosives. <laughs> They're gonna put a we're gonna put a couple ballistas on these the tops of these um posts with a bunch of ammunition. Mm-hmm. And we can be spread out on all the different islands or cluster to however we want to be when it comes. But hope we're trying to get it so that it goes for Aranus. So if we have two people on either pillar on either side of the boat and Aranus on the boat, I think it's going to go for Aranus on the boat. Mm-hmm. And then once it goes for there and gets a hit and then we start attacking it, we can move around and jump. So we have the boat and the turtle off in the a little bit in the distance so that when the Kraken comes and attacks, we can signal them, and then maybe in a round or two, they come and surprise the Kraken and him from the sides. What I'll do is as soon as I see the Kraken shadow, I'll start shooting my magic missile at it and draw it towards me because that magic damage initially will at least be enough to get its attention. Mm-hmm. All right. That sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, I don't have a plan. And eight I hours now. Pretty well, and I will be on the turtle because I don't want to die. All right, so you, so the kraken's going to come for the turtle. It's why would it come for me? You just said it's going to come for the ship. And if it gets to us, because the turtle's not going to be where we are. Right, but I'm going to be if, 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 if away. It, if it passes under you on the way to the island, it'll, it'll no, stop No, that's if there. I was going towards the Kraken. Well, the Kraken might circle on its way here. No, we don't we, know, how we the don't kraken know what direction the Kraken is coming from. I guess that's true. Because we didn't lose the Kraken. We just uh, in the we're just. I, mean, I, mean, I just really, you know what? I just really like this character, and I haven't gotten a chance yet. But let's stand on the rocks. I heard and she has twins. Just and don't twins. die. I can't hey, listen, listen. Memory, I'm gonna like medicate you, Spencer. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> don't <laughs> die, Matt. I heard <laughs> she oh, has a, tw- a twin sister with even bigger tips. <laughs> Spencer hasn't even loaded my character into the game, and we're we're open sea for him. It's not like you have really good like timing for finding bosses, man. <laughs> she looks exactly like Barb Wire. I gotta say, it's okay. <laughs> I can do it. Can do it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Pick your <laughs> island. Pick All your right, where, island. Where am I positioning this, this turtle? Out of sight. Turtle. The turtle's gonna be yeah, like. Over to the right a little bit, okay. just like off that direction. The boat's gonna no, be like. No, you south. know what? I I yes. got it. I got it. I'll I'll add to the plan a little bit. No, no, no. Wait, wait, I hold will. On. Hold wait, on. hold on, hold on. No, ahead, let me on. let me let me do darkness on me on the turtle or the ship. One of our things. Oh fuck! If you could do that. Yeah, I forgot I could do that. So let me but do that. Also, let me... I, I. That's um, perfect. Just real quick, I think that the turtle should not be near the boat that we're standing on. I think we're standing on this boat. Well, yeah. So the turtle should be over there and the boat should be kind of over here. And I think that's enough, right? We're like, if we're here on this boat, then um, we should be, they should be out of the way enough. And I think you're right. I think casting darkness on the turtle will do us justice. Um, I also think if you guys aren't going to be on the center mass with me, you should also cast darkness wherever you guys are. Well, I can only do it so many times. Oh, yeah. And I have to, and I, yeah, I have actually, I can only do it once. Yeah, because I have to maintain uh, concentration. Okay, yeah, so. okay, okay, okay. I can basically. I, what I'm saying is, we could at least have one hidden gun, like one one thing hidden. Essentially, so then, yeah, I so would cast we'll darkness hold, on the turtle. Hold on. Are well, it's we're... only a 15 foot radius, so uh, I could obscure. Uh, I could obscure like a view of the turtle, basically, which might work the same. You know what I mean? Like I could do the front, like the turtle's head, and if it's behind it, it could have the same effect. So yeah, as long as like the body is face is like facing in the direction although it's a kraken so i don't know it's not like a human so i'm just checking in uh we're not going to be actually doing the kraken fight tonight so is that correct are we not fighting this kraken right now 
Yeah, this, it's too late to do that. This is good. That, fighting the Kraken is going to be a long ass fight. I don't yeah, think the Kraken fight is going to be quick. I mean, it's not, I don't personally. I don't think it's going to be a long ass fight, but not in our favor. <laughs> I think we could do it like the next Matt five minutes. We're all gonna die in half. I think we're gonna wipe the fuck well, out. Th- th- then hear me out. I have a mm-hmm. proposal. We pause here, and we work on our plan. Yeah, and, I like that idea. And, and then when we come plan. when we come back together, it's roll initiative, crack and fight. I agree. So you we, guys, I feel like we have a lot of good disparate pieces. To where am I plan. leaving you guys on the on the center island? Yeah. No, we're on the. <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll we'll discuss and and plan and let you know the exact okay. formula. Just know that the uh, the water around you, though you can't see through it, has become very, very, very dark, and Uh-oh. weather around you. Um, has become very uh, cloudy. Uh, thunderstorms are gathering. See the clouds is in the air. Um, I'm just curious, just generally, like our krakens aren't like supernatural beings, though. Like it's 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 still a giant octopus. Yes, it is essentially right. the closest to. <clears throat> well. My question is like if I'm basically asking the legendary question, like if it bleeds, we can kill it, right? Like, like it is it is something that bleeds. So the turtle um, told us that nothing that wasn't magic has hurt it. Right. But something has hurt it. So it can be hurt. Okay, that's right. And right, if it can be hurt, it can be killed. Exactly. Yeah, you guys yeah. are all gonna be on at, at a specific um location i'm assuming or wherever you are um the water around you turns black the eye the sky turns dark there's lightning in the in the air um and you can just start to see tentacles withering um and you see two appear there you see another two around the corner, then you see five, then you see a dozen. Um, these tentacles of, start the circumference slowly, of the outer, of the outer slowly eye. coming up out of the water. Um, and then this massive uh, head, this bulbous massive head pops up. And I immediately shoot magic missile at it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the smell, it smells like salt and rotten fish. Um, and that is when the Kraken rises. So, you have, it rise? can you show us that on this map where the head is? No. Because you, you guys are going to be in place before, just as you said, before he comes up. Oh, but. Okay. I will let yeah, you. So know. it's like Final Fantasy tactics. Like we we have like some time to like battle plan before the encounter. I'm gonna um, he work this bitch. <laughs> I have plans, guys. I got plans. I Your plans were terrible. I listen. I really wanted to run, and you guys. <laughs> that was I, you I, know I, what? In I, retrospect, that might have been the best idea. <laughs> I do say it probably would be cool to be reverse catapulted. <laughs> Yeah, Somewhere. I was like, come on, zip line us away. We'll draw it towards a thing and we'll fucking run. And then we'll I just see bodies flying waiting. places and getting destroyed. I just, I just feel like I, this is going to end like Titanic, where we're all just searching for a piece of wood to float on. <laughs> That's why I didn't want the boat nearby so the boat could come in and swoop us up afterwards. Fair. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind that. Idea. No, fighting the I just want, I don't want, I don't care about the boat being terrible. nearby. I want the giant turtle that has a city floating on it as protection. Like, I just feel like it's a good thing to have, but we're sending that away too. No, it's coming back in. I know. And maybe it may, that might be enough to scare the Kraken away if we're fucking it up and it sees a giant turtle coming in. It could be like, oh shit, I don't want to deal with a fucking turtle. He's definitely not going to deal with the turtle. There's no way. 
and this darkness blob. Who knows what's in that? You guys all hear a uh, voice of the Kraken in your mind, and he says, I've come to collect what's mine. But that is where we're going to we're going to end. Also, the uh, our mind flare friend would be out here with us. Would he, though? Yes, yes, he, yes he, he did would, say he would help us. No, he has um, he has what Jake has, which is the um, die, die for one. Not all for one, but die for, die for one mentality. He's you know? not a My Hero Academia character. He's got that like cool thing going on where he sacrifices. And Teverett would be out here too. Yes, Teverett would be there. Um, this is going to be interesting. <coughs> Everyone take an island and kill. I better you better hope this Kraken that has diarrhea is a no show. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Have you rolled the hit dice for him yet? No. Do you want to? Uh, Billion sure. hit points. Twenty seven d twenty plus one eighty nine. Oh, that's a good way to end. This is a good way to end. <laughs>